Welcome to Side B, motherfuckers. Welcome to Side B, motherfuckers. Hey, one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change. It's certain real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do. Hey, there's only one goal, one thing, one move, man, that shit don't change. And it's certain real niggas do real fucking things. Real niggas do real fucking things. All right. I'ma keep a general just like the army Most real niggas know most niggas phony Your shadow got your back, huh? Just like your homie That's why shady niggas will harm thee This act Caesar Brutus got him and caught him before his last breather If that don't make you believe us, then you'll learn Honesty is a quality that will burn But it's cool and trust is a quality you will earn You a fool if you take, you learn all of the rules Imitate and imitation and they call it they cool. I know a little bit, but go ahead and call me a fool. While you sprinkle sugar on shit and you calling it food. See, I'm just trying to groove and you standing on the wall with your hands on your balls, making crab claws move. Trying to bonk at a dog, but I don't bonk. I just fall back till you think you're winning, but you lost in the beginning. So, no fucking body's gonna fucking answer my question. I hear what you said. Oh, sorry. I said, what Instagram post? Oh, man, um. So that nigga posted something on Instagram so I asked him to, about like what is what does non toxic masculinity look like? And when I saw this shit, it looked like some basic human traits. But um nigga brought up today cause it could be a trick question. I thought in my mind like this is gonna be a trick question, like hmm. It's based on what whatever, whatever side you defend. So the question was what does non toxic masculinity look like? Hey, give me a, a lighter. Like what's the definition yeah. of that shit? Like that's a, a I'm not about to answer that. I'm I wouldn't go up that answer that. Non toxic <laughs> masculinity is like you know what I'm proving that you're a man without like over proving that you're a man. I mean, dog, to me, if I if, if I demand some things that were non toxic that were masculine, I would like in my opinion, this would be my list. That that, 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 that I would take in my head. Treating uh treating it all it all had to do with things that were dealing with the woman. Like uh, treating a woman with respect, not hitting a <coughs> woman, uh, protecting uh, your woman, and you know, and uh, being the uh, I think that's what also that's it. Uh, being like the ultimate defender of the house, the ultimate warrior. Not saying a woman can't, but like anything. I feel um, like the reason why it's a trick is because okay, you already know toxic masculinity. I told you we're someone to the fool. Toxic masculinity, for example, is something like how we teach boys crying is wrong. Or whatever, let the boy cry, get his emotions out. How we say, boy, you can't go do ballet. Man, boy could do ballet if you want. That don't mean he any less than a boy, I don't mean less than a man. We all get taught this shit, but when you grow up, you realize, man, it's wrong. It's kind of stifling boys to be like, you can't do this, you can't do that, because it's so girly. Because really, if you a nigga and you're doing it, they don't make it girly or make it gay. All they make it gay is if you fuck, if you like fucking guys. And all they make you girly is if you have a vagina. Exactly. You know what I mean? Or if you identify with it, that's what you want to be. Same thing on the other side. Toxic femininity is like when you tell girls, well, that's for boys. You can't learn how to fix shit. You can't learn how to do that. They got women who teach that to their girls and guys that teach that to their daughters that this is for a man. You can, when really, nigga, that little girl probably should learn this, this, and that that we teach boys to be. So there's toxic femininity. There's toxic masculinity. Now, the question became, okay, name me some non-toxic masculinity traits. And the traits that were listed, um, what Joe was saying, is um, traits that... <clears throat> should be human traits, which is like, one of them was like deliberate, creative, just, compassionate, honorable, confident, dependable, respectful, diligent, consistent, rational, honest. And they put these traits with different men that they feel like Mr. Rogers, The Rock, uh, this guy from uh, uh, Hamilton, uh, my nigga used to paint, they put it with guys that uh, they feel like show these traits in a masculine manner. And the, the question was, what is non-toxic masculine masculinity? But the answer is truthfully winds up being what women look for in a man and masculinity, which is what it winds up being. Because other, if, if you don't look at it in a manner of this is what, what women want to see from a man versus these are just the traits, it could go either way. And it's a trick because even <laughs> if you used to ask the question, what's, 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 what's non-toxic femininity? If you should think of those answers, it'll be just like this. Some broad shit that go both ways for humans. Yeah. So that's why it's like a, a trick question in a that's weird ass way. So, right. So like so like what is even the point of the question then? Like, like the point is no, see, the, to, see like, the point of the the point of the question, honestly, if you want if you want to be frank, like the person the, the person who made this was at first okay. Most motherfuckers don't even understand that there's a such thing as not as toxic femininity. 
They feel like such a big thing has been made about toxic masculinity that's an attack on men, and they don't even realize, no, like, toxic femininity is a thing. It's, a, it, it's, it's, it's two sides to this coin. So someone made this to be like, y'all be talking that toxic masculinity shit, basically. Well, give me an example of something that's, that, that, that's non-toxic that's in masculinity because they feel like it's an affront on masculinity in general. When all of that winds up building a whole other argument of what does it mean to be a man and what does it be a woman. It gets beaucoup complex and unnecessary when really it's just, man, just treat yeah, people it, even. It really, yeah, like, it's really it, a, just a treat people good. <laughs> you know what I mean? question. Like the question itself is really, in my personal opinion, is just designed to start an argument. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not designed to solve or point out anything that we don't fucking know. Not, because what's non-toxic that you is don't fucking general. Know. Across the board, that you because some people are ignorant to it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, some people do live under a rock. I mean, but they got ants everywhere, bro. I mean, somebody got to stay under a fucking rock. But I think some people, uh, you'd be I surprised the amount of ants out there, son. I would go far as to say it's more general consensus that these these traits are like commonly known as they're just universal truths, you know. True. I don't think most people understand that there's an opposite side of the toxic masculinity. I don't think toxic femininity gets enough uh, shine, shine or uh, attention, uh, awareness, awareness. I don't think because because I, I had to research them and even know that that was a thing. Whereas I can just turn anywhere on my Facebook and see the term toxic, toxic masculinity now, and it's not saying you know, and it's not like, me saying I, I shouldn't think. see stuff about toxic masculinity. It's I'm on contrary. I'm saying. Um, it that when you when you only see one thing, one thing, one thing, it, it will breed contempt from a certain people that don't have that that thought process of understanding the nuance and taking they lick. So I'm saying if you present two sides to the story, then people are, it's easier for a motherfucker to uh, swallow the medicine if they can see the woman is swallowing some medicine too, or even vice versa, the man is swallowing some medicine. Because if it was something that's coming out that only bang, 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 and like it was an issue that women had to deal with specifically, and the thing is, it was funny too. Toxic masculinity is not something that only is a problem for men. There's women who push it to their sons as well. I mean, so it, it's an is issue that toxic on both. Because it's coming I, from I, a woman. Not coming from you a woman. It de no, depends on who like the kid the, is. No, it's depending on who. The, the no, thing. no, it is. It's depending on who the kid is. If it's a son, if a woman is if a woman is telling a son, the boy don't cry. That's toxic masculinity. All right, is that all right? So it's making him toxic as a man, but <clears> is it toxic femininity that's no. creating this toxic masculinity? No, 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 no. It's two different things. Toxic masculinity is like it's like it's toxic masculinity is toxic masculinity. It's just concerning boys. If it's coming from a guy or a girl, if it's if it's if it's damning a boy to see this is what he can't do with his emotions or whatever, that's toxic masculinity. All right, so 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 a mother. All right, so a mother teaches her son. She's she's a to, she's a, she is she toxic masculine too? Yes, so, I'm saying she's pushing toxic masculinity. So she's, push, so she's pushing it. But it's, by her pushing it, what does that make her? What does it make a per a man that does it? A toxic masculine masculine man. He, he, she's, he's doing toxic masculine things. Yeah, so she's doing toxic masculine things. But she's a female, so she's. She, but she's she, pushing the ideals of toxic masculinity. It's like you she's know. She's trying to tell a boy how to be a man. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's it's dealing with a boy, just like if it's a girl. But do if a, I, I, if a man is telling his daughter. Don't fucking cut. You shouldn't learn how to cut the grass. He's pushing toxic femininity, okay. even though it's coming is from that, a man. I, yes, because he's I, that, shaping that, that, that a woman. Process is, is, a, is a man type of thought that a woman it's shaping a girl. Isn't, isn't toxic it's, it's what shapes the, the words. Gen is about the gender is about what's shaping the I, thing. It's, uh, it's kind of like basically not. It don't really matter what gender is proposing this uh, thought to you, but what you are like. For, if it's a woman telling you, oh, okay, Joseph, you a man, you should take out the trap trash. She's telling you about how to handle your masculinity. So and that's a toxic, like, that makes yeah. it toxic yeah. masculinity. Yeah. Like, that's the, the, the issue is the so thing. So, 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 so. Yeah, the issue is the thing because, and generally speaking, us on both genders uphold both values of what's feminine and what's masculine. It's not just girl. It's not just girls think this. No, I'm both look, I'm male, look, I'm both confused. fathers and I mean fathers yeah, and gender, mothers. Think as gender, so. Fathers and mothers teach their girls how to be girls. Fathers and mothers teach their boys, quote unquote, how to be boys. And depending upon which one is the kid, is which title it gets. So if you're teaching your girl, this is what it means to be a girl, and it's only things that. Um, Yes, if, if it's things that if, there, if there's things on the other end that you're teaching your boy that like if there's like you talk about general things, there's certain things that are general that should be generally brought to both sides, but they aren't. 
Certain so, things that we just be like, this is all things that a girl should know, all things that a boy should know, when a lot of these things should probably be taught on both sides. So once right. again, you're dealing with shaping a boy. If it's a father or a mother shaping a boy and telling the boy shit like, boy, don't cry, don't show your emotions. We don't ever tell a girl don't cry. We tell boys don't cry. That's a specific thing within masculinity, quote unquote. But the toxic part in that masculinity is telling the boy not to repress his emotions. A mama can say that. A dad can say that. It's both toxic masculinity. So, so, so what my question is, is you can be a female and still have toxic masculinity. You can be a female right. and still push patriarchy. But so, you can so, be so black wait, wait, and still wait, wait. push racism. Wait, wait. To me, when you say toxic masculinity, it almost like gives her an outgo because it's almost like a, not her fault that she kind of suffers from toxic masculinity. It's not our fault neither. It's society. Nigga, it's neither of our faults. We can condition this bullshit. <laughs> Who? Nobody's fault. It's your fault if you know better and then you don't do better. It's nobody's fault on the onset. Hmm. We just had the fall with Yeah. It years. Yeah. It predates before our parents yeah. were born. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's boom. That's it's just like religion, dog. You, yeah. A lot of families get taught Christianity, Christianity, Christianity to the point where they don't even never think. Well, maybe I could think otherwise. But if it come from your family since Ben, most times you ain't even going to... Question it. Even if you're Muslim, same like most times, shit, people stay within what they're taught. But, we know but, that. But, but when it comes to the chopping block, when males uh, do the toxic masculinity, it's it's our fault. And and, and it's, that's it's, the problem that I'm saying. Like just like I'm saying, toxic femininity. Like on all regards, both sides need to get their licks more. And like what you're saying, it seems like what we're hearing is men, men, men. When it's like no, both men and women contribute to toxic masculinity. Just like both men and women, because we take it all away, patriarchy. Women, women get taught the shit and that's fucked up, but you still push the shit to women. You, oh, yeah. they got women that be doing a lot of shit that you be like, damn, bitch, you hitting on your fellow chick. I don't think women get get called on it as much as men do, though. I didn't say they do. They I said that's the problem. I didn't say you didn't. No, I'm, I'm saying making an observation. No, I'm saying I just said that. That's what I'm saying. I just said that. I just said yeah. women don't get the lick enough. Don't yeah. get the lick as much as men. I don't. Yeah, they definitely don't. They get whole walks and think that that shit cool, like. No. I don't think nothing wrong with whole walks, son. <laughs> Wait, what? Whole walks? The slut walk. The slut walk. The slut walk? Give the name right, guy. <laughs> 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 they named it. You can't, you can't call it disrespectful oh, if they, they named it that. They named what they want. Whole walks. We could have had a better word. Slut walk. They named it that. It's, it's, it's the irony of it because it's that it's the men and the women that, that uphold those on regards that call they them sluts. They're flipping it. Like they're the flipping, flipping it. It's like the word nigga. I guess I'm still on some like, nigga, if I ain't cool with you and we ain't playing, you can't call me no slut, no bitch type shit. That's not, so like, that's like, not the angle they're coming from with it. But it's the, it's the word. The word used. You know what I'm Words saying? Words are by intention sometimes. Like, like he just said, nigga, dog. Nigga come from one way and nigga come from another. You're going to take it two different exactly. ways. I mean, in this all case, in case of how so you do with females, dog. Like with the, the women you named it. Right. So you, you know got certain like, women that's out there like, I've been raped. I ain't no slut. So but the ones that's how you do with her and them. Yeah, but the, and the ones, ones that be like, I like to be called a slut. That's how you do with her. Yeah, because the, the, they they're not trying to say call me a slut. They saying you call. They saying y'all keep calling me a slut because they got people who've been raped that have been called sluts. It's like okay, we gonna take the word. It's like flipping anything. Like bitch, we can't call a chick a bitch to other. They can just all every chick a bitch, but they call each other bitches all the time, and that's their thing. I, I'm not gonna hit on it all. Nah, it, that's as long as men didn't name the slut walk. <laughs> they good. Right, no, Women. Problem, then, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's just supposed you to be. You want to even that? That's, that's your thing. Standard, that's, that's supposed you know to be. I mean? It is a double standard, uh, dog. That's I can't how, call that a double standard. That's, that's how white people feel about the word nigga. It's like, they got this word. I don't. I can't. Negative connotation. Y'all flipped it. I won't call. Can't have a say. I won't call it a double standard if it's coming from them and it was made weaponized by us. We started it in, as a bad thing, and they took it and flipped it. I can't call it double standard. That's they, like saying they, they made it encouraging, proud thing, dog. Where people could come out and like do things that they probably never would have done, like have the courage to walk out and show their breasts and shit, and like walk halfway naked. Like that shit is that shit is a very in, powerful it'd, thing, dog. It'd you got be, a lot of courage for that shit. It'd be a double standard if we took on like the fuck boy walk, and then a bunch of women was like, "Why y'all calling yourselves fuck boys?" But we had a real reason. Like we saying whatever. If there's some real. I can't think of a reason to represent. Better. I don't know. I can't think of a reason connected, but I mean, you can't tell if a nigga started that shit. So if a nigga started a fuckboy fuck walk, he a fuckboy. Yeah, oh I, I don't want to be a fuckboy walk, but whatever. Yeah, that's, that's, all that that shit. that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't be Look, it is the fuckboy fuck walk, <laughs> but he's fuckboys. It just depends, dog. It really depends, dog. Like, I would never go to the fuckboy no, walk. Bro. I don't care. Fuckboy is a bad example, <laughs> but the point still is. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what they might Fuckboy was a bad example. I'm not doing the fuckboy walk. Doing a fuck fuck is a bad example. You going but to the fuck boy parade? Either way, go. Oh, no. Shit, they got fuck boy food, all types of shit. They got fuck boy beef. Straight on that. <laughs> Look at that fuck boy costume. 
Man, but like, yeah, either way it goes down, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's on that party to name whatever they want to name their stuff. True. That shit just be funny to me, dog. You know what I'm saying? To me? I really don't care in the end. That's your shit. But I just be like, Do you really not care in the end? Because some part seems like you care. They could flip the word. If you didn't really care, <clears throat> you wouldn't care. Like, I don't uh, care. I don't see nothing about it because I don't care. That's what you do your thing. You follow me on social media? Yeah. You see me make any post about that shit. But you're saying it now. You saw me post some shit about Matt Miller dying, right? You saw me say some shit about Matt Miller dying. True. Some shit I actually care about. True. You see me post anything about that shit? No. Okay. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what, what you really care about when you post what you call your shit. Still funny to me. True. I see the irony. I see what they're trying to do with it, so I ain't hate it. I, 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 I agree with I'm you, T. You call your group what you want to call it. Funny to me. True. You know what I mean? Keyword, to you. The, isn't the eye of the beholder, right? Everything, I think. Yeah, to a degree. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree. Some shit is just universal. Like some things yeah, are society. So, yeah, we, yeah, just, yeah. we say this is right and this is wrong for certain things. Right. Yeah. Way the you know what I mean? But we all go have opinion. Slut walk is is funny though. Like I, I laugh when I first heard heard the term. I understand why they use that, but I yeah. heard when I, I first heard, heard it, I was like, you know, <laughs> "What the fuck?" I was like, "Is this like <laughs> freak, <laughs> freak Nick?" <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like freak Nick. <laughs> what else? Is, it, first thing come to mind, you ain't got no info on what's going down. Right. Oh, they got a slut walk going on. That, 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 freak Nick. that sounds like white. Freak how much Nick, do you miss Freak Nick? Have you ever been a Freak Nick? I've been Freak Nick. Damn, you been a Freak Nick? When it was here. Man, the real just, Freaknik was in Atlanta. I know yeah. that, but I'm just saying there was a variation of Freaknik that was here, that did happen, and I, 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 that I, I, I went to that. That was, was a long ass time ago. Hell yeah. Was there like trying to be on that Atlanta footage Ooh. shit, like on like fucking with holes in the cars and all yeah. that shit? Uh -huh. Fucking holes all on the bridge. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I only remember it happening like literally one year. It was me and my partner Austin who went, and we just like walked down by the lake and all that shit. And it was just cars and cars and cars of hoes. Yeah. And niggas obviously, you know, it's a big concert, you know, set up and <laughs> boom, boom, people every fucking way in this wide open field. You thought it was Freak Nick, but it was in New Orleans. Man. I, I was like, okay. to go on like some spring break type shit, because like MTV back in the G. Oh, you know, yeah, like, the boys did it. Yeah. I was like, man, that shit like Freak Nick down there, all the people going to Cancun and all yeah. that shit. I always wanted to do that shit, son. That's all it is. I had a small little thing with that when I went to spring break in uh, Panama, Florida, but I should have went to like somewhere like Dustin. Dustin? Yeah. Dustin, I've still never been to Dustin. I don't go to Miami. Yeah. I want to go to the South so Beach heard. spring break, like the one one. Miami South Beach, yeah. I went, yeah. Out, I I went out there. That shit it was crazy. popping without spring break, so I can imagine spring break. That's what I want. You know what a nigga told me about uh, how, how Miami be popping? Nigga said on Memorial Day alone, they make over eight million in revenue and drugs. Nigga, yeah. <laughs> and drugs, like over eight that million plus in drugs on world. one day. You been to Miami before? Yeah. yeah. That shit is a different world. Like it's, nigga, it's not even part of the South, son. When I first went out there, nigga, I had a Chevy Malibu, like a 2000 version. Not mm -hmm. like the shit that was like, nah, I get out there, everybody has a Lexus on up. Lexus, Mercedes Benz, yeah. BMWs, you see in the Maseratis, the Lamborghinis, and I'm like, what well, is Chevy's like mine, though? No. Like, eh, eh. Ain't Shit was like, you're so dope. Hop off the, off the little tourist bus. First thing I see is bitches and thongs. I'm like, they actually wearing thong bikinis. This is mm -hmm. years ago. That shit regular now. Yeah. Whole nother world, dog. Bad Cuban bitches everywhere. So. I need you to make you very aware that we're recording right now because you're about to start this podcast. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. So if there's well, anything that you said words. that you want me to like cut out or, or we just not ever, or we're not going to just say your name, but I'm just letting you know. Now we never said your name. Nobody said nothing. <laughs> I didn't say nothing I did or I'm good. Now nah, you didn't do nothing deal. <laughs> you just put your, you just said your pit or shit. But I yeah. wanna say one, do you want me not to say your name when I put this up? Let me hear some of it first. I don't know what all I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's incriminating name. Right at the time. You know what I mean? The only thing that that's what was recorded is the whole conversation about the slut walk and about toxic masculinity and feminine um and toxic femininity. That's the main things that was recorded. Nothing like uh, no, nothing else. We good. All right, cool. We good. Cause I didn't remember like, cause we, cause you know what I mean. You start talking about like the Cuban bitches and shit. And I'm like, wait, he talk about bitches and bitches and bitches. I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe yeah, I should let him know yeah, <laughs> about, about the bitches. That but part, um, yeah. <laughs> no Miami part. But Cut the Miami part. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Everything else cool. All right, so I, I was like, I gotta think about it. Like, yeah, yeah, I gotta. 
don't know. I don't know where this conversation is about to go. So even if he continues to talk, at least let the nigga know that he get recorded. Fucking years, nigga. Yeah, dog. It's real. I'm reading at the children now. Nigga, this is that motherfucking book, son. We had these shits back in the day, son. The true story of the three little pigs, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's real. That was the real story. Fuck them pigs, so. <laughs> so, yeah, son, we about to lock and load on this, T. So, if you uh, stand, you can kick it. If you bouncing, this, this is your This is your, this your time. Yeah. You roll it out? Fuck. Oh, oh so you rolling up? About? I, we talking about a bunch of shit, like. You rolling out or you rolling up? Shit, yeah. Fuck it. Oh, how long is it? It's gonna be about like two hours. Two hours? You can bounce whenever you want, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll roll up. But uh, I'll right. be at like 30 minutes, 45, and I might be quiet at the time. Alright, so, uh. You wanna have a special stage name? Shit. I'm gonna call him Kruger for now. I'm about to say Freddy, Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, he just yeah, Kruger. Just Freddy. But uh, yeah, y'all, okay, this was a random ass beginning to the episode, ain't it, people listening? This is the, Welcome to the Flower Bats Podcast, episode... 63B. 63B. Yeah. <laughs> I had it last episode. You Bye. did, that's why I was like... God uh, damn. This is that actor guy, Martin Bats Bradford. You could catch me on every single social media platform besides Facebook, because you got to find me there as my real name, as Mr. Bats. Spell it, Mr. Bats, you ain't going to find me, you dig, and as usual... I'm here with my brothers. What's up, sluts? This your boy, d Man. <laughs> <laughs> and you can catch me on Instagram at frenchbread.kid. And follow my clothing line at your dick, right before. It's doing really good right now. And, uh, yes, this is my awkward intro for Side B. What's up? It's your boy, Alpha Joe, in that new La Para. Nah, I was hanging with your posse wine. She bought Alpha Joe fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the rule. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at Alexander the Ape Three. Oh shit, that's not it. You can find me on Instagram at Alpha Joe Five Hundred Four J O without the E. Facebook Joseph Alpha Man Pines Sixty Three Side B. But does God want you to be a slut? He might. He might. He just might. And I would be all for it. What if God was a slut like one of us? I mean, that conversation can go a bunch of ways in what you just said, because, you know, he... God, a slut on a bus. Zeus, Zeus was a slut. Yep. Zeus was a fucked up person. God, God don't be fucked up in that Old Testament? I mean, listen, he ain't... I mean, his, listen. There's different guys, and he ain't the guy <laughs> they talking about. Nobody ever said he was omnit. All, 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 all good Who? about Zeus. The Greeks thought so. No, they he didn't. He just was flawed, but he could do anything. They ain't never think he was uh, 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 all... He's always all watching. He was all knowing, but he wasn't all good. Not all good. He was flawed, but I'm saying the thing but, about but, how... But the thing about this guy that we, that we posted like in the Christian Bible, he's all good and all knowing. And I'm saying if you check that Old Testament, he ain't always all good is my point. That's what I'm saying. They said that's good what he did. <laughs> all right? <laughs> That was God's work that was good. That's all I'm saying. All right? And they don't, they don't question that good. All right? Just know it's good and it's good cute. But at the time, who's to say that the Greeks didn't justify Zeus's behavior like because this? Because they, they didn't. It was like, Zeus was We don't know. know that. We don't know. They got poems and shit, but they wrote about how they Zeus They just write about what he does and what he did. The, the, the regular lay people that wrote it didn't go, and he was fucked up nigga for that. They never do that. They tell the story. And then we go the on rape Zeus's of Zeus. Right? We, we don't have the stories rape like of that. The rape of Zeus. We don't have no good Zeus and the bullshit he did. We don't have titles like that. We got the rape of Zeus, though. <laughs> like, nigga, at that time, they wouldn't call it that. Either. What else call it a day? My nigga. I, my, like, <laughs> <laughs> Which translates to the rape of Zeus. <laughs> it's almost like um, when they talk about in the, in, the, in the Christian Bible, how in Hebrew uh, they call, like, let's say, homosexuality or abomination. And if you go learn that in that context in that time, abomination didn't even mean the same thing. Yeah, but abomination, that word didn't even mean the same thing that it does now. It used to mean um, like not. Cast away, you could cast somebody. Cast away, away or like you're not of our kind or whatever. It was like a different word. You got to talk to the whole. But, pe- but people would take the context that we have of the word and then judge and forsake and burn people. And it's like, pillars nah, nigga. Salt. You hear me? So it's, it's funny. Time is a, is a very, very funny thing. Niggas became pillars of self. That's it's funny how imagination, dog. God can do anything, but he has so many different clever ways of how he wants to kill us. It's like, you know, <laughs> he jigs up. Like, right, he's like, some salt. Like, why salt? Why you got a whole land of salt all over this place? Just just unused salt. I'm going to turn that nigga to salt because I can. Size. Somebody going to come back to this land and be like, man, look at all this salt. Oh, oh, wait, hold on a second. I want you to pay attention to something right quick, Alpha Joe. Look at D-Mac. He's in this position like he has so much to say, 
but he's biting his tongue. No, he, he, he looks so pro like, like a snake. His yeah. computer <laughs> is, is, is going too much to download, too many overloads. I am running a lot of data right now. You know what I'm saying? I am running through so much data. No, I looked at him a few times. He has this look on his face like, mm hmm. Mm. Mm. It's almost like you want to amen something for a second. Yes, Free. right. Free. You, know, you, you were saying all the right things. Free. 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 Yes. But yeah, y'all, welcome to the show, man. We're in this thing here, man. We on side B. Uh, as usual, we're going to shout out our, uh, our our normal local podcast, such as the We'll Figure This Out podcast with J Skills, Kiki, and Lito the God, such as the Misbelief Radio Show podcast with DC Paul, J Steel, Oshun, Malik the Historical Geek, the your, and us, us, the Your 30 podcast with Marty Edwards and the Arrogant Observer, L Dub. The, the all knowing of black cin of cinema, of cinema uh, actors. Right. L Dub. The connoisseur. The connoisseur of the, the actors. The Rolodex. The, the human Rolodex. It's like Dub. <laughs> you know Everything. Me? Webster. But he still's not he's still not the favorite on his own show. Ooh. Ooh. Pop, 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 pop. I didn't say it. I didn't pop, say it. Pop. Your co host did. Your co host did. <laughs> <laughs> We fuck with our brothers. Yeah, yeah, as well as uh, the... On the... Four, four Misses in the Mic podcast. Shouts out to my girls. The On the Lake podcast. Shouts out to my girls. Uh, Shouts out to the uh, Metalhead of God podcast. The uh, Brooklyn Ladies of Therapy New War podcast. The Fuck What You Heard podcast. The uh, No Dope on Sundays podcast. The Teapot podcast. The 50420 podcast. Is it Hip Hop Nerd? I didn't. The Hip Hop Nerd Podcast. You know what? You know what reminds me of Hip Hop Nerd? Every time it's either you say Hip Hop Nerd and I, it goes with Fuck What You Heard or it's just Fuck What You Heard then it's the Hip Hop Nerd. I be having to have things that make me remind myself so you might have caught that. Even if I didn't purposely do it. No, that's probably... what I think in my mind when I be Ooh. thinking like I be like because sometimes you do it and sometimes you don't I be like why does he always do it? Like you know Fuck What You Heard Podcast Hip Hop Nerd Podcast There is a, a brain thing. There's a podcast that I want to listen to now. It's uh, something like Black Girls Who Love Anime or something oh, like yeah. that. Oh, I, I saw something about that. Yeah, I think I want to listen to that because, you know. Is it New Orleans local? Yeah, I think it's local. Too. Oh, so local one. Because nice. yeah. I'm about to say, if you're into that, there's a lot of these cool ass black women uh, nerd podcasts out there. Yeah. Then they, it's like, it's like a, uh, what I want to say, it's like a genre at this point of podcast. And it's real interesting hearing, like, you know, chicks talk about, like, Anime or cartoon or yeah, like a comics or like that. nerd shit. I'm trying dig? to find the exact Black name. Girl Nerds is one of the biggest ones. But uh, what's their name so we can shout them out since she's saying it local? Uh, black Girls Who Love Anime? Pretty Girls Like pretty Anime. Pretty Girls Like Anime. anime. <laughs> All right. Pretty Girls. Shout like out anime. to Pretty so Girls I like, like Anime. I like that because yeah. that's a play on words with anime and like anime. I don't know. I feel like they do that. You, you just black. <laughs> uh, you just black, nigga. I see what you say. I ain't even catch you. <laughs> Pretty girls like anime. Like, like anime who got slapped by her. Hey, that's fucked up. She, well, Tina uh, is pretty. <laughs> Tina, Tina sure was pretty. So we pretty girls like anime and pretty <laughs> girls <laughs> who like anime. <laughs> you think I'm dumb, dumb? Uh, he dumb. Uh, <laughs> So I sure was, <laughs> and I hope they they, they if, put it. If we ever talk to them ever, so we gotta go and bring that up. You gotta bring that up. See, so we put anime with pretty girls. <laughs> Were you also thinking about anime bullet? <laughs> 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 just, just ask it. Just ask it. Just something that just crossed my yeah, mind. Just, just, just something I want to know for a friend. For a friend. Just a, yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody we miss? Um, um, we did Black Guys Next Door. Mm -hmm. We did Middle Hannah Guy. Mm -hmm. We did 50420. I think we did everybody. We did everybody, I think. I think these are all the people that we know that we shout Brooklyn out. Brooklyn Ladies are therapy motherfucking I said before. them. Oh, all right. I said them. He said yeah. that was Boys said that so hard. Because yeah, I, I know sometimes this. we... Yeah. I often forget them, but I got them this time. Uh, Especially because they ain't Brooklyn ladies. <laughs> I mean, really, the name of the podcast is Therapy Noir. I don't know what made us all call them the Brooklyn ladies <laughs> of Therapy Brooklyn? Noir. I feel like I got that from Lawrence. I don't know who told. I don't know who said it first. Because you started saying no, you started saying it on our podcast, though. I think. Uh, uh, I don't uh, know. I, I like the way it sounds. Yeah. The Brooklyn ladies. Go check them out. The Go check them out. They be talking that Noir. shit. But uh, yeah, we're in this mug. Got the homie Krug, Krug in the background. Five along and blunt last. Hello world. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. So uh, first off on side B, we get into that it's too fade of, of the, the day. day. Yeah, I mean, we get into you know some of the heavier topics that we decide to not talk about on side A because we like to keep side A pretty light. After side A, I mean after the it's too fade of the day, we get into that daily dose of America. Which is your friendly reminder of just where you live and just who the fuck you be dealing with. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. Yeah. Then after that, we can just play the song that they got. 
<laughs> I know I talk, I talk good shit. <laughs> now, but then we have the hero highlight. We take the time to shine light on someone who's doing good in the world of pure D fuckery. Fuckery. And then we get out here until the next couple of couplets. So yeah, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into that too famous. Do it. Arthur got his first gun, he ready to murder He out of control, like and swole on bourbon I don't even drink, if I see you, I ain't see you Nah, I don't even blink, nah, I don't even think that I'm here But if I see you and I like you, I'ma smile Is this really who I am, huh? Then versus now, life is too wild This shit is out of hand, I'm just trying to live But y'all don't give a damn I'm just trying to be cool, I don't wanna lose my Work, lose my mind, lose my spine, lose my shirt But if you know me, then you know I go berserk Then you know I go berserk Then you know I go berserk Head hey, first, I'm just shut So yeah, bruh First things first Um, Out of every 1,000 rapes, 994 perpetrators will walk free 310 are reported to police 57 reports lead to arrest 11 cases get referred to prosecutors 7 cases will lead to a felony conviction 6 Rapists will be incarcerated. So six out of a thousand. Only about two percent of all rape and related sex charges are determined to be false. The same percentage as percentages for other felonies. So while they do happen and they are very problematic, when they do, people claim that allegations are false far more frequently than they are and are far more frequently than for other crimes. But another way we are much more likely to dis disbelieve a woman if she says she was raped than if she says she was robbed, but for no good reason. On a related note, only about 40,000 of rapes are ever reported to the police. No, for, I say 40,000. 40% of rapes are ever reported to the police. And this is partly because victims know if their claim becomes public, their every behavior will be scrutinized. They will be shamed for their sexual history and they'll be labeled as lunatic, psychotic, paranoid, and manipulative. Just because someone does not report their crime does not mean it did not happen. Furthermore, only one in two claims lead to prosecution. So if the DA decides not to prosecute, that says nothing about whether or not it happened. The majority of sexual assaults are not reported to police. Only 310 out of every 1,000 sexual, sexual assaults are reported. And the stats go on and on. The reason I'm bringing up a lot of these stats is because, man, we look in the news today, man, like, it's just been like the, the talk, whether we talk about, like I was saying on the Misbelief radio show, whether we talk about the black hand side with Bill Cosby getting um, getting his time, his little three years, which I still say he got off easy. But we look on the white hand side with Kavanaugh and like this governor and this little boy that was the grandson of some other governor. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, it's it's the, um, what, you, what you need, my dude? Oh, this. I'm sorry. <laughs> My name was pointing. I'm about to hand him everything but what he wanted. I was like, oh, you want this drink? Oh, you want this? What, what do you need? Bring out a fucking stove. <laughs> yeah, you know, everything. You, you, there? you dig? But, yeah, son. And with it being such a potent conversation, man, it's what with, with, with the, the, the biggest bother. Two of the biggest bothers are, one, the amount of people that are defending rapists and don't even realize it. And two, the amount of people that are ignorant to many of the facts. And or just replied off of emotion without looking at stats, looking at data, looking at what actually happened. We still got people out here thinking that uh, Bill Cosby was trying to buy NBC, like and try, and that's why he coming. They're, they're people who really still believe that rumor. That's good. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. People don't have they, some niggas can't separate Heathcliff. And that's the thing. He was not Cliff. He wasn't Cliff, dog. You got to stay. Most of these actors ain't who they say who but they portray. But also, there are some people with, with representable careers that they go to back for him too. He gives people some kind of small thought of it, like Felicia Rashad. Yeah, man, because she tricked them too. Because <laughs> somebody, I, I ain't saying they tricked nothing. I'm just saying how why people think the way they think. No, 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 like, no, no. They, no, they, no. I'm know, saying because they got they got some evidence that do say. I'm not saying you're wrong. What I'm saying is he tricked her too. Is what I'm saying. Like you know what I mean? How we could go to work with somebody every day and not know they yeah, what they're yeah, going yeah. through. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying because I'm thinking about this me this meme. This one dude put up like man, they had a picture of beautiful Felicia Rashad in her head there at that. And he was saying if he had this right here next to him, why he ain't go at her neck? Man, you don't shit where you sleep. They got many reasons why he wouldn't go at that lady. Listen, son, you know what I'm listen, saying? Listen, like son, let's be real. That, that, that issue is so complex. <laughs> that only Bill know why he didn't go at Felicia. Man, and Bill Felicia knew that I would go at Felicia. Knew that I didn't go at her. 
want that. Bill he's Joy, going, Felicia or Debbie. He specifically, right. if you look at the thing, he specifically went at up and coming, coming chicks that was below him in, on the power structure that wanted to get in and come up. He did not go at women on his level mostly. He did not go up on like motherfuckers. Honestly, Bill went at people he thought that was going to be thrown away in history of time. Yes. He wasn't going to see again. Never. You he did not saying? expect any of the blowback bl- blow at all. Oh, he expected the blowback. <laughs> He certainly <laughs> expected the blowback. Well, really, if he's knocking him out, he don't want blowback. That's like we said this before, Pons. That's borderline necrophilia. It is, These dog. niggas who get off the unconscious passive, sex. unconscious sex. Fuck it, that is necrophilia. That nigga. What's the what's the difference? And people got to understand it's a, a fetish. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but people got to understand these niggas be having these fetishes because we can look at Darren Sharper, good looking dude, good looking rich nigga. dude. Have any bitch he really wanted? No, he's crazy. All he's crazy. crazy. No reason to rape. He wants to dex the bitches in the sex. He's but, crazy. But that. But it's some people person. just have. A problem. Yeah, so he's sick problem. in the head. He's been talking. He's, he's been t- touched or something. Right. So something. you you don't you, y'all riding for Bill and Bill has a problem. It's yeah. great that he did a a lot of good people do good shit. He did great things for the yeah. black community. Ghost See, so Hitler, Hitler did a lot of great. Go, shit Ghost Dad was a what, 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 what dude. I love Ghost But I'm gonna say this I every time. That. Nino gave turkeys out on Thanksgiving. Don't mean he wasn't doing the fucked up shit. Son, you know what I'm saying? Ah, he just fucked up shit all right, the time. You to, heard me, me? to me, Hiller was like the best. Because like before Hiller did the fuck yeah. shit, Hiller was like a real hero to his to Run the Germans. That. And then after that, that nigga mind switched and he went on some whole other kick and was wicked. And his mind, hold up and let's keep it, let's, let's throw, that's absolute real, let's throw it into it as well. His mind switched only on Jews. He was still very polite and good people yeah. to the people he fucked with. He was very, very, very nice, dog. All the niggas that he rocked with say he, he brought was Germany good. out of like a lot of depression and shit. He loved animals. Like, he was like, an artist. <laughs> no, they have great things to say about him if he wasn't throwing them in gas chambers. Right, right. dog. What the fuck? You know what I mean? If you even look at that Kavanaugh situation, I'm watching this shit with fucking Brett Kavanaugh, son. This nigga here, and it trips me out that this nigga was going to be the Supreme Court Justice, meaning he would have this title for life. I didn't know this. Son, stone me I now. All of our fucking leaders got these skeletons in their closet. And as long as they come out, let's stone them. If you can't stone them, we don't know. Club, if they don't dog. kill it, if the niggas with all the skeletons, bro. if they don't kill this nigga right now, their <laughs> skeletons will be exposed. But I'm saying, son, I'm saying one thing that made me laugh about this shit, dog, is like, he's in court and everybody know he handled it bad. He looking like a dick and he got more white, rich, powerful dicks that's trying to ride with him. But one thing he brought up, this nigga said, and I kept an extensive diary for all my years back in the day, just like my daddy did. And I didn't write down in my diary that I was where that lady said I was, bitch. Like you go right down to your diary. I raped today. <laughs> and it was really good. All right, let me have uh, incriminating evidence against my soul. Yeah, let me just have this. I was on first. Let me just have this. Hey, listen, I write in my diary, and my diary said I didn't rape no one today. So, so yo, 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 what was the what was the whole fucking thing about when they asked him whether he was fine with them like doing a background check on him? <laughs> like, what was that part where he basically was like nah or like he hesitated or some shit? He claimed that he was always bowed it and then when they said let's do it right now he was like man look. <laughs> really? <laughs> because he That's... was on it because because he brought up some interesting facts which was he was saying dude to get to my position I've had many background checks and nothing came up before. Why did this why she ain't say nothing up until, why was this never coming out before? But then once again that can be mm-hmm. and that's and that's what uh it, it exploded that whole uh that thing I wanted to read about, you know, why why um why did not report then and stuff. And that, that the Buku women came on, you know, the complexities about why they didn't report exactly when it happened. But we're gonna come back to that. But um the biggest thing that the woman was saying is knowing that you would be the Supreme Court judge for the rest of your life mm-hmm. shook her. It was like, wait, I didn't let you, I didn't let it ride, I didn't let it ride, I didn't let, I just tried to forget it, I didn't try to pretend like it didn't happen, I didn't try to block it out, you know, because people got to understand it's the trauma involved. That's my main thing, Daddy got into arguments with people, I'm like, son, my deal is, dog, a lot of times we don't lead with empathy, we lead with, with bullshit, we lead with logic instead of empathy, and yeah, don't, don't take away your logic, but when people that are victims of trauma, let's leave with trying to like heal. Let's leave with let's see what's up with you before we be like you probably lying or you probably brought it on yourself or you probably this you probably that. And then we gotta you know like let's 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 balance the shit a bit more. Cause son, I see exactly what you're saying, but I can't help but 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 feel like in a certain way, dog, just just in a very tiny way, like you should lead with logic first. For the simple fact that there's there's just too much involved. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you can leave with empathetic logic. You know what I'm saying? Or something. Because yeah. sometimes, sometimes you got to take empathy out of it. Sometimes. At yeah. a, at a like, point. You, you hear me? Like, the girl just got raped an hour ago and you trying to write her about specific memories. You know what I mean? That's the type of shit that we do sometimes and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's no, like... Real talk. Your logic without even right empathy should tell you that's a bad idea. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like... No, you don't even have to have empathy for that. You got to be like, say son, she's not in the, in the right She's state. not in the right mind. Logically, I'm not going to give that's you the best information That's what I mean by it. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes we don't even think. We don't even leave with that part of like... Okay, let's let's give her a day or two. Let's give her some time. Let's let's, let her, come, let's let her come to us. Let's let's be let's let's be kinder with our words. Yeah. Let's not jump to the two percent. The two percent so is that she could be lying. When niggas use that, and it's like that's when they're using uh, six out of ten uh, women who have been raped. What you saying, my bad, my bad, I'm talking over you. What you saying? No, the same thing. I'm saying what you saying, dog. Like uh, like the niggas that go on the route that route that you're saying with the two percent and all that. Them niggas are using uh, emotion logic, dog. And it's not their fault because we all as men get taught to beware the line as a woman, as my call rape on you. Specifically and especially as black men. Because the white woman has fucking, in the history, it's been burned in all our ancestors' brains that them white girls don't get you caught up. We all get taught this shit. Oh, yeah, even, if they, white girl, even if the it's, white girl's going to call rape on you. Even if it's problematic. Day, so. Right. Even if it's somewhat problematic. Yeah, even so if it's I'm not. Bruh. And he said, I'm light-skinned. Even if it's not, even, even it's not always 100% true, it's burned into us. So that's why when I'm talking to certain people, especially fellow black men, I have that like that patience to know. Like, I understand my nigga. I understand. I, was, I went through it too. But we got to still look at the truth of the matter of there's far... More women that's getting raped, half of them is not even saying it because they're afraid because the other half wasn't believed. You hear me? And it's way less likely that she was fucking lying. I'm not saying completely count out that a lie could have been possible. What I'm saying is don't lead with the 2%. Let's lead with, okay, what happened, babe? What's going on on your own time? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't lead by saying that you're lying. Like, I think that's goofy and very extreme. But I think you do have to lead, like, non-emotionally. Like, you got to get the facts of what happened, not you know what you what you feel happened or you know what you feel like happened to her. You gotta really figure out like what it's, exactly. And one happened. thing is for the cops to do, and one thing is for a, you I, as a brother, or as a yeah, man, or as a right. friend. Yeah, I'm about to say this, you feel like, me? Be like for you to like take your empathy and, and your feelings out of it, then you gotta be solving the case. Well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be cracking. It. <laughs> you gotta be cracking. That's it. what I'm saying. Because nigga, my sister, she, she, she gotta see it. I'm I ain't gotta solve shit. I'm not talking about. I'm gonna solve this case. No, I'm gonna create no, another no, case. No, a murder wait, case, nigga. No, wait, wait, <laughs> stop. That's fucking dumb. I'm not talking about family and friends. I am talking about like law enforcement and like judges and like, that. The, like the actual process. That part can't be emotional. It can't. The process can't be emotional, but we can't start with that process. Is all because oftentimes that's what that's what I'm saying. The the niggas out there trying to be the detectives and come with that 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 uh that logic like with that with no empathy and shit. It's like hold on, my nigga, you ain't cracking no case. Yeah. You coming out with this non emotional feeling, my nigga. You got you really do got a feeling because somehow it's affecting you because you're not here trying to solve this shit. You only saying what you feel about what you should this and the third. Yeah, you're really just being part of the problem. Because the majority of times is not what, what 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 niggas are saying about this empathy. That's the issue at, at hand. Like we would wish this, but but, but the women are saying it like the majority of the times it's either I'm too afraid because I saw what happened to my friend and they weren't fucking with what she was saying at all mm -hmm. or the case didn't even get cracked like majority of the time even if you do everything right get the fucking rape kit have all the evidence it was da -da 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 -da. only six niggas six niggas out of a thousand six yeah. niggas gonna go to jail me, and then they ain't gonna get no time let me tell you something these about niggas rape, ain't getting no time let me tell you something about rape especially if you got money yeah. rape is such a fucked up thing that dog it's fucked up on Women's side, and it's fucked up on men's side. And it's specifically yeah. because when we talk about toxic masculinity, most, they say like 90% of niggas don't say shit because of right, they don't want to be perceived as weak. They don't want to be perceived as not manly. And that's part of that toxic masculinity because we get taught, who fuck, be tough. And it's like, my nigga, it's not your fault, dog. Right. It's way more niggas that probably, if they would be real, so, would but, be but, reporting. But, but that makes what you saying? Makes me, that makes me wonder. Ain't more women. What's up with America and probably most of the world with accepting rape culture because if it affects both sides, what? It's so it's taught to. So it's not only just taught to be broken down dynamically. It's against one, like against women and against men, but. It's like it's like a cloud that holds over every one of us. Like how do we feed? Like how do Look we? Look who's feed? in power, dog. Rapists, apparently. 
Well, well, gotta be fucking rapist, dog. I'm not gonna say no to that answer, but what I will say is, <laughs> what I will we say don't know, is, but we've been uh, up until recent decades, dog, and still to this day, if you look at Congress and shit, it's mainly run by old white men. You feel me? That's the whole problem with having Kavanaugh even come because we don't want another one. You old white racist, fucked up rapist ass niggas old keeping this thing because, ass. dog, we don't have age limits. These niggas be keeping these jobs for life forever. So it's like as long as these people are not only making the laws but running the media and everything, dog. Till recently, we have the context of. Rape culture is a newer term in our vernaculars. You hear me? So it's going to take a minute for the, the acknowledgement that these problems that we thought was normal are problems to even happen. You feel me? So that's why it's good that some of this shit is happening, dog. And it, it's... It, it, it's a layered thing that people don't be want to understand the layers of. Because nigga is nowhere near saying send, uh, send wrongly accused to jail. But... We get so wrapped up in our fear to ride for the nigga that's falsely accused, we ignore the fact that normally, whether you falsely accused or not, you ain't getting punished. Right, straight up. Either way, Son. you most likely ain't gonna get punished. Not, more than like, like, if you white, you got a ninety eight percent rate that you're not gonna get punished. If you know, if you white with money, with money, you, you ain't doing nothing. You got like a ninety nine point nine percent. You ain't doing nothing if you white with money. You white with money and know the judge or some kind of connection. Oh, to the what rate? You off, my nigga. What rate, nigga? And All if you black or any other shred. POC, if you black with money too, if you, you, got, rich, you, got, you got it. If you rich, you got an eighty percent. Yeah, you, you rich, rich, you got a sixty percent. Right. And depending mm -hmm. on how poor you are. It that goes down. You, 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 it goes down. Depending upon special. your poor. No chance. <laughs> that's what you got. That's your theme song. They're going to play that bitch every time you walk in the car. No, no chance. <laughs> and we, no, no matter what the court is, the ticket, it could be anything. Anything. As long as you just the bitch thing, so pussy politicians making laws for more so puppets. Fuck. And when I see the people ride for Bill, I'm like, dog, do you not understand that Bill got a slap on the wrist? Let's, let's add some context here, no, dog. definitely a slap on the Bill fucking was wrist. raping for five decades, was able to live a life as a rich ass nigga for all this time, build an empire. He had hush money to women for decades, built all this up, and at 80, when all you probably doing is chilling, reading, and shitting, and sleeping, yeah. you finally get got, and when you finally get got for like dozens of rapes, you get three fucking years, years that you years. might not even serve three fully. Because three to ten, but most of us don't believe he, he gonna, gonna he serve gonna that. Two. He gonna do two, probably. Real, you know, you can serve one and a half. I'm about to say good. maybe less than fucking two. Like so why y'all crying for Cosby? He got, got off good. He got off good, y'all. He yeah. got off good. Yeah. He I ain't mean, getting no real punishment. Yeah, he basically hot dogs got out. Him in jail, you know, that's pretty tough to live What's with. What's up? Oh, you got oh, the hot dog one hummed at his oh, head. Oh, no. He's like, he's not getting a hot dog up the fucking, fucking ass. Like, he might well, be. You know what I'm saying? He ain't like, going to rip his whole ass. Really? You think it might be in that jello pudding? Nah. He ain't in that food. What? No. I heard they say he got a Bill Cosby fetish, though. Hey, nigga. Where the sweat is at? Say pudding pot, nigga. The only thing. The only reason anybody would rape him is just to say that they raped him. Yeah, I rape Bill Cosby. Yeah, oh, yeah. you know that's gonna be the story. A story. Cosby, I fucked that nigga when he was in the pen. <laughs> Let me tell you all about it. You heard me? So boom, he wasn't trying to let me hear that first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I offered that motherfucker a point and pop in a pack of cools. <laughs> and he said, well, <laughs> I guess I got two and a half more years in here. <laughs> Fuck, that's horrible. That's the hot so dog boy was flirting. That was flirtation. Sorry, Bill. Boss, I'm not going to rape you. You're going to give it to me. Exactly. And, I, and I get so tired of I said this on Facebook. I said, uh, everybody be like, but what about the... You're you going to give it to me. <laughs> everybody... <laughs> Everybody talking about, but what about the others? That's becoming about what about that's the black on black crime now. You hear me? Like when yeah, we talk about police, about we talking about crime. police brutality. But what about black on black crime? We talking about this nigga getting got. But what about all these other niggas, nigga? We talking about this nigga getting got. The mother niggas need to get got too, and they will. Yeah. Cause people forget Harvey Weinstein just got got a year ago. You know it take longer for rich niggas to get got. Bill Cosby been dodging this for two decades. They, no five. They I'm even raping for five, but he didn't really get caught for the last. I'm gonna say it was like that. Oh, oh, this is long. You see, they started talking about like around the 80s. The 90s, damn. So three decades, about that? three decades, they've been talking about him raping these women. So it's what like, aboutism is what they call that shit <laughs> now. What aboutism? Yeah, and it just all it it just falls under that. It's just more what aboutism, and I just don't even give it any energy. It's, it's the same deflection that niggas been trying to kick. You know, what I'm saying focus on a topic. Let's get on the topic again, dog. Weinstein you know? facing life about to be dog. 
But dog, that the, nigga's the, facing life. He, people he don't get life because a nigga that was been, did, 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 did He might not get it, but when people be like, "What about y'all?" Ain't even checking y'all sources. Y'all y'all sources. Like, somebody was like, "Weinstein still working? Weinstein ain't working? Weinstein got on house arrest? He got a collar on his break?" Y'all forgot that U.S. Olympic got like four hundred some years in jail. That white dude, remember that? That raping all those uh, sixteen year old girls that was part of the U.S. Olympics in the gymnastics, the gymnastics mm, coach. Mm-hmm. Nigga got like four hundred some years. The doctor. Yeah. That shit made me so mad as a gymnast. I was like, dude, I can fucking. But there's this doctor who just got off completely. That's funny because it's, uh, it, it's, 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 it's it's so weird because for that it's case by case, it's and, context and white by white, and then sometimes it be about okay, we got to give it to him. We can, you got to get it, it's too much. Hey, that's the white on white. It's like all right, can we sacrifice this one? Right. He ain't that much worried about. It. We take him. You know what I'm saying? We just let about twenty y'all off this this year. We got at least and we just get him, one in jail. We just, we just gonna give him five. And let him get off it too. And then when they get real the, time. I feel the exact same way about that white lady cop that killed uh, your boy in his house. Like, I feel oh, like. Oh, yeah, in his house? A Geiger. Amber Geiger? Yeah, Amber Geiger. I feel oh, like. Oh, they, they had to give us one. When the others came out, they had to. Because if they yeah. didn't, there was a ride on so their hands. So far, we don't know what's happening. She's fired, but shit. So that's that was, still. Uh, it's a ride on their hands. Let's still watch, wait and see what happened with this lady. Let's still wait and see. Because it's all like, that's one thing we've learned over these past few years when it comes to niggas getting murked, dog. You could never call it. That's all the bunch. You hear me? You gotta wait till the fucking end, dog. But um, yeah, son. Uh, this nigga asked for the black go blunt. But um, yeah, son, dog. But like, yeah, just watching the whole shit just go down on how the shit be talking. I just be like, dog, y'all don't even realize y'all riding for the wrong shit. Like, I had this tweet. I tweet like, man, it was it rape or was it rape? Rape, nigga. Rape is fucking rape. Dude. There's no such thing as rape, rape, nigga. <laughs> rape is There's only rape. one different type of rape, son, and it's consensual rape. rape Look it up. Rape. You know what I'm saying? Look at and, that. and that's it's role that, play. That's a sex thing. That's kink. That's Google a kink that role shit. play, nigga. But there's no thing. It's rape, 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 rape. And rape, then uh, somebody rape, was like, nigga. if I buy drinks for a chick, oh, that's rape. almost the same as Bill. I was like, dog, buying drinks for a girl and putting a drug so she'll be knocked out when you fuck her, it's not the same. <laughs> Sorry, dog. It's not. It's not. It's not the same, not same nigga. Same, dog. It's like they come up with. That's one thing that's been bothering me, dog. Oftentimes in arguments, a motherfucker come up with the most extreme example to prove a point. When it's like, my nigga, okay, that could happen, but most times that don't. <laughs> like, say, son, what if a bill was like? They also say if some of the girls are willing. Sometimes in my mind, when I play a scenario like that, it's like, yeah, hey, I got these drugs, you want to take them? And you know, it's young and popping. She thinking, you know, something like probably even an upper to get, mm-hmm. probably do on fuck, get things real popping, and it's a fucking quaalude. Yeah, and she's unconscious. Right. Who I don't think in her mind she ever wanted to pop a drug got, and say I'm gonna get knocked out so we can right. fuck. Right. right. This, this, what women want to get? to fuck. Son. Right. That's what I said. She might have wanted to even fuck, but she yeah, didn't but say she fuck, to fuck me you consciously. Man. Right. Like, <laughs> so it's still wrong. Because I guess you all right. Because some people are like they want to fuck. Them. If they did, they didn't want to do it. Knock the fuck out. Yeah. Not remembering bees, it happened. Some right. Some bees drowned in the honey, so to speak. You know uh, is a powerful drug, son. It's for insomniacs and shit, son. son. It's, it's meant to knock you cold. cold. I mean, like, bow over out. the head, out, knock son. You out. I ain't never eaten that shit. And that no. shit was crazy. <laughs> and he probably he giving it to them, thinking they, they thinking they doing disco biscuits. Right. So, what, what if you was really chilling with a bitch, dog? Let's say you chilling with a chick, son, and you fucking um chilling, everything good, and then you hit the blunt, and next you know you wake up, you naked, you you're bleeding all over, got all like you've been drained of blood, you, oh, shit, you got man, nut all over you, you don't know where it came from. <laughs> Yeah, right. And you you ain't got no money in your fucking pockets. Your clothes ain't nowhere. You been robbing gangbangs. You feel me? You got robbed. <laughs> <Bukaki. laughs> well, I'm saying, son, that's essentially what Bill was doing to these women, son. He took, he took all that money and leave them bleeding all that. But money. that's the same. With the, like a rape is a robbery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so no, oh, whether yeah. I took all your money, just a dollar. Whether I just you took, took your pussy you took or took son. nothing, you still you so, robbed me. So you took, took like, some shit. Might be hard to get like, back. Yeah. It depends. If Bill was doing that, yeah. you fucking. It depends. Hard. Like sometimes he'll leave them. Sometimes he'll like drive them. I'll be like, oh yeah, get your shit together. You know what I mean? They like where this bob lady is like, yeah, it's time to go. <laughs> it's yeah, time like to go. They just skin out their face and just leave them now, just laid out. Bill was a wild face cover. Bill was tripping, dog. But the thing the, is, he could have did all this it. while they were conscious. Yeah. These things right, happen in real life, thing, son. Without without even getting into the Tales from the Hood Hood Two movie, we watched that bitch, and there's a story in there that's very. That was very similar with these dudes. And like these dudes, they got these chicks coming on to them. These girls wanna fuck. And they knock the girls out. And the whole time we watching this shit, we all looking like, wait, 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 why did they wanna they they are basically saying, put your penis in my mouth. And for whatever reason, these niggas drug them. And I'm like, dog. Oh, like why? Dog? What in but these niggas people be crazy, dog. People be tripping, son. I wouldn't even get no satisfaction out of that. Like in no regard. You have to be sick in your yeah. head, son. 
to fuck someone unconscious. Right. No. And to think it's okay. And, to and, think for, it's cool. and, right. and for people to even think they agree. Son, to agree with that, no one in their right mind is going to be like, yeah, knock me out. Yeah, and this is fuck totally me to fine. death. Mm-hmm. But one thing, oh, I want to wake up to a nut. <laughs> Now there's one, there's one, there's one smidget of a thing, smidget of a thing that I can be on Bill Cosby's freaking side for. This is this. Hear me out. I have to hear this. Hear me out. <laughs> it's this story right here. Has nothing to do with his rapes, or has a little bit to do with his rapes. He wants the money back of this chick he gave some hush money to. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. Well, I'm with that money back. I, I guess <laughs> technically she didn't hush. <laughs> Morally, it's fucked up to back and break someone. You but didn't nah. break your contract. Yeah, you you broke contract too, though. This nigga money. is ignorant, dog. This is the most ignorant nigga to ever live, son. <laughs> you just got convicted, son, <laughs> of fucking rape and sexual assault. This nigga out here saying, bitch, give me that back. I want that back. <laughs> that was $86,537. And 16 cent after taxes. Cosby wants Andrea Constant to refund the money he paid at their 22,005 civil suit settlement, settlement oh, arguing that she and her lawyers violated the terms by cooperating in the investigation of her tenure accusations. Yep. Bill, she spent that money, though. <laughs> yeah. That money is gone. She might go to jail too then. <laughs> For bringing contract and now she's not bringing my money. So I felt so bad that I like in that instance I was like, damn, like I think everybody fuck at you, that Bill. lawyer's office probably just busts out laughing. <laughs> like, yo, this nigga walked his money back. <laughs> Do y'all see this nigga? Oh my god, Mm-mm. that nigga was the laughing stock of that whole firm, son. They probably call that nigga and like, hey, you ain't giving me shit. <laughs> we giving you a motherfucking thing, dude. You crazy? But well, Bill get Bill uh-uh. that money, boy. Bill getting out Bruh. in two years. Bill, <laughs> watch when Bill get out. Uh, that's another thing, he, Bill. If, if he pursues that, dog, that's that's got to be a fucking skit, son. SNL needs to make that to a fucking skit, to. dog, because you are wild and untamed, Bill. Dumb. You just shut the fuck up and take it. Right, just take it out, bro. Yeah, Quit while you're ahead. So, so like, you got, like, you got off easy. All the raping you did, you could go for life. It was like old, like, this literally, like, even, okay, like, it was like, like, even if some of these women lied, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, one of them chicks, I forgot her name, that, that Janice Dickinson, one of them said uh, she fabricated parts of her story. So, let's say, let's say, let's say some percent of them lied. Son, okay. it's still a too, good. Too, too many numbers, dog. Right, nigga. There's still like a good twelve. Yeah, you know I mean? you no. gotta go to jail for one. One. Other, son. You, you got at least. Go, you gotta get nigga, you got right. off good. That's you saying. motherfucker. Fuck it. Like you said, D. You gotta at least get one. You gotta go for one of them, dog. You, you getting it at eighty? One, at eighty, nigga. No. And Kavanaugh, son, ain't no way we need any more niggas like this nigga running shit. Like you said, I wish more. I wish more of these powerful white men in power. I know that's redundant statement. Need to get got. Cause that one nigga, but this one nigga went off. You saw well, that hey, one? Nah, you gotta watch nah, what he nah. said though, cause a lot of cold words was he was saying too. It was so weird. Cause I watched it, I'm like, you going off, white boy? But at the same time, oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the nigga that went off. Yeah, you guys have be ashamed of yourself. I'm ashamed of this office. This man is a good man. He's a great man, and y'all want the Democrats want to make this up just so he won't get in office? Ah, uh, shame you, Democrats. If you want to play like that, oh, we oh, that's what you mean. Cause he was saying, oh, that's how you want to do it. Oh, we got y'all. Oh, he had bail, a few. Bail oh yeah. Man. White man, I forget to think of his name. That he was mad. Like day one white power. Nigga, it felt like it. I felt like I was at like a spot where it was like a whole bunch of clan members was mad. Yeah, you know that, that's a clan rally. Bruh. Cause how dare how dare you people. come at a powerful white man's neck about their wrongdoings? How dare how you? How dare you? Bitch. That's all that sounded like, son. How Leave you this speak good to me? white man alone. And there's a new one. This is a white man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you saw the Pulp Fiction thing? Uh, for, uh, no, Kevin I didn't. I, I keep, oh, I, I keep seeing people talk about it. Oh, yeah. And I want to catch it. Oh, my God. Time, let me, so let me find this. Now. I, I feel like I. It's truly hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this shit, son. I hope this is the right thing. See, come through if you want to see this shit. You're Brett, right? Right. <laughs> bring it back, bring uh, it back, bring it back. <laughs> Man, so oh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Start. My body is ready. Start over, start over. I'm trying to start it over. Come on, bitch. My body is. is just, just refresh the, I'm just refresh the page. Because <laughs> this nigga, this nigga, Brett Capital was going off, dog. Like, like the internet is broken, son. He like a lawyer. <laughs> oh, no. 
Yeah. You're Brett, right? Right. I thought so. <laughs> All right. I got into Yale Law School. Check out the big brain on Brad. <laughs> It's the number one law school in the country. You're a smart motherfucker, that's right. <laughs> I had no connections there. I got there by busting my tail. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Can I have a beer? I still like beer. Mm. You mind if I have some of your tasty beverage to wash this down? Sometimes I have too many beers, but I did not drink <laughs> beer to the point of blacking out. And I never sexually assaulted yes, anyone. You yes, yes, you did! Yes, you did, Brett! He is warm, friendly, unassuming. As a dude. He's the nicest Brett. person. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. This is so perfect. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. I can watch that and get it again, son. Fuck the internet, <laughs> That's a nigga be having time, oh, man. You and that nigga that interrupted Graham. That's the nigga who was going on. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Lindsey, and, Lindsey Graham. And that's when he was like, I don't recall. I said, you a goddamn thing. That godlike. Oh. That's godlike. Oh. Oh. The internet is the best. Bro. I like when he was <laughs> dragging his beard down while he was talking. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious, dog. That oh was God. So stupid. I'm highly recommending you guys check oh, out man. Pulp Fiction, Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Oh my God, bro. I love it. I fucking love it, dog. But like, Jeez. yeah, y'all, like, there's there is the space that needs to happen for the nuanced conversation about how to go about when so much time goes by, how to prove. You know what I mean? The woman's story, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you know, the whole, the whole deal that people, like a lot of men are saying, but what about people that might be falsely accused? Even if it's a little percentage, it's still a conversation that needs to be had about that logically. And the part, the problem is, it's hard to get to that nuanced conversation when everybody's running in extremes. You know what I'm saying? It's like... let let's whole mob men, mentality yeah, and, also. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying, let's lead with... I said, it's, it's, the thing is not just believe the victims only. It's lead with belief. And then, it's like if there's steps, then process, mm -hmm. then apply the logic. But let, let's lead with, okay, let's say something really did, something happened. Let's, I'm I can agree to that. I you mean, dog, saying? if yeah. someone comes to you as the victim, because or yeah, the, it, even as a detective, you want to go with that angle first because that's the first angle you got, number one. Number two, they're the victim, so you, they're the victim, fuck. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm I, saying I don't really get it. You know what I'm saying? They're the victim. Before, but, you start, before you start cracking the case, it's like, all right, this is the victim. And and in solving it, you can maybe find out they not the victim. Yeah. But you gotta lead with first that they the victim. Right. And I just want to add on to it is like even um, once we create a culture that that is the norm that we lead with belief that we lead with empathy, then it's gonna be easier to have the conversation and to root out these motherfuckers that's... Because I feel like if you're a woman or a man or whatever that falsely accuses somebody, you need to burn and go to jail just like anybody fucking else. I yeah. feel like you should get... I feel like for, for one, rapists need to get almost... Not as much time as a murderer, but close. No, no, no. no. You got to do more. You got to do, more, you gotta you do way more time you, you to get more time than murderer. Because the trauma so the, that's... The, depending the, on the murder? Depending on the murder. You, the, should, you should do more time. You need to do some time because the trauma that's applied to a lot of these women and men that get raped don't even leave them. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you did something permanent to somebody. Yeah. So I'm saying these three and four years ain't matching yeah, what you're doing. So that. rape time needs to go up. And I think if you're a falsely accuser, you get the same exact fucking yeah. time and as see, if you goddamn the, rape somebody. And that's uh, the whole, nigga, you're going to be ruining somebody's uh, life and right, reputation that's that's true. True. forever. True. They got to be sex offenders even, forever. Even well, let's, let's, say, let's, say, let's say rape is 20 years. You falsely accused. Don't do it. I bet you that make niggas not do it. Even if you just I bet you that accused of fucking rape, that can really? destroy your life. Even if they can find out that you didn't do it, just being accused of the fucking shit. Like, you're going to lose shit just from that in, in the fucking uh, process. I understand shit. your level of raping is not as as harsh as accusing. I understand what you're saying on that level. So, let's say well, rapists get... Murder, let, let, let's say, right, if let's say a nigga get 20 for rape, that bitch better get 17 for accusing. You know what I mean? She better, you know what I mean? better be comparable numbers is all I'm saying. Like, give up 15, give, you know what I mean? You you got whatever. 10. Because these women on some shit and let's, let's shed light on this. These women that keep on touching these little boys in these schools need to get this fucking time too. And these and, teachers, and lots of nigga, on the they be also. teachers. You are, we're trusting our kids in your hands, and you, you touching them. them. <laughs>
and you fucking them. I said touching, that's, that's but what you said the real, nigga. The real. And you fucking them. You're fucking them. You're fucking them. So, yes. Yeah, like, no. Like, no, because no, no, I always be looking at dog, not to even go there, but for real to go there, son. You, we usually see this this, this mild mannered white woman that touched this, that touched this boy and it's all cool. But you know damn well if it was Tyrone Jenkins as the teacher and it was some little girl, specifically a little white girl, y'all motherfuckers. Y'all, hang y'all would literally crucify him. hang him. That's the only time rape matters. If it was a if it was a black man and a little white girl, rape would fully man. matter. Right. Pedophilia, would, pedophilia, would, pedophilia, would, pedophilia would never even come to mind because you'd be like, oh, pedophilia might be a mental illness. You ain't gonna bring that up in if that's the case. Say, son, if you're mentally ill, then you need to be in a psych ward for that kind of shit. Nigga, right. off the dump, you shouldn't be around you people. Need to be in an institution, right? You need, you don't need to be working on people, that dog. shit, son. So all that shit, dog, like all that shit, need to be taken more seriously, son. Yeah. Just generally speaking, all that shit need to be taken more Across seriously, son. Because once you create a different culture, even even men will probably come forward. Well, the shit with men coming forward, that's part the culture of rape, as also the culture of like we were talking about the top of the show of how we uh, train, how we train our men and such, and that's a whole other conversation on some other shit. It's, it's all layers. Cake, nigga. Yeah, I mean, but um, he said cake, nigga. Uh, bars. <laughs> Corny as the fuck. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this thing, um, before I move on to the next topic, man, this thing that uh, why I didn't report, like one of them was my mom did report my eighteen year old cousin when I was nine. And that's another thing. Most people that get raped get raped by people they know, family members, close to them, yeah. like it's, and, and, and and leaders, Lead, either be leaders of the powerful community, people or someone family close to members them, that's very close to people close friends to friends of the family, such of that nature. Mm -hmm. It's the trippiest thing, like isn't because you get taught that some person is gonna snatch you up that you don't. Nah, and that's another reason why a lot of people don't say nothing because they don't want to throw their family and their friends under the bus, or they don't want that blue black from somebody that powerful. It's trippy. Yep. Even when they do tell a dog. Some people don't even believe that shit. Don't you say that, bro. That's my brother. Mm -hmm. no, you, you wore that hot skirt. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Their own family yeah. make excuses for certain reasons for, for certain people. Yeah. yeah. So uh, my mom did report my 18-year-old cousin when I was nine. I had to testify sitting across the table from him. I froze and cried. Couldn't speak. All charges were dropped. He moved in with his girlfriend three houses away. I had to walk to the bus stop and see him every day. Hashtag why I didn't report. All right. See, that's kind of shit that, that'll sit on a nigga head and kill him. Because when I was four, I did report. It went to trial, and I broke down on the stand testifying against my own father while his lawyer called me a liar. He was not convicted. Every time I was assaulted after that, I knew there was no point. Why well, didn't I report ever again? The fact that you was four says a lot. Ooh. Like, that you on a trial. Damn, because I was 13, and he was a police officer. Why well, I did report. Because, That's all, like, on the average. Because, he, because his, he's... Because High school is already oh. one of the most confusing Confused. times of your life, and I didn't want to add outcast and liar and hoe to the laundry list of identities others put onto me. Real? Yeah. Because? Oh, uh, because I was seven, and he was my best friend's dad, and he was a policeman. Oh, these fucking cops. See? So, you know, cops come, come up a lot. And it's the power. Me, and, it's and he showed me his gun. Oh. I was always misbehaving at home, and I knew it was just one more thing I'd get in trouble for. It took me 40 years to finally talk about it with a therapist. 40 years. For life damage. Yeah. 40, years before she, gunpoint. 40 years before she could even talk about it. That's gonna be my That's why you can't leave with why you say, Don't leave with that why you say shit before. They Steve gonna, fucking Hammond? Uh, oh my God! Don't get started on Steve Hammond. I just had to put that bitch together. Oh my God! There. Because he led me in prayer to beg to beg forgiveness afterwards. Wait, sure. wait, wait. D what? Man, you know that's my fucking favorite. Because he led me in prayer yeah. to beg forgiveness. You raped her. Then you want this? Did you lay it and pray for forgiveness? Oh, that is that's twisted. Man, that is know. twisted. Because in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, females were never believed, and reporting it was like being reviolated again. Okay, that was, you just made a point. And that goes back to the culture of it. Like, a lot of shit is ingrained in our culture. It's like so, you talk 60s, about 50s, it. 40s, 30s, 20s, Nigga said, stone ages. Right. Nigga, people didn't care for the longest time. Um, I mm -hmm. did report. He had two witnesses on his side, and they wouldn't allow me to have a witness. Two watched the, this is the two that watched the cell happen. It was dismissed, and I was 11. And I was raped at 20. I didn't bother saying anything. It didn't matter the first time, so why now? Shit. Because he was the teacher, and I was the awkward teen who didn't have, even have friends to eat lunch with. And would it be the point anyway? And that's a lot of and people. And I was a dude. Uh, I don't know if that's a dude. Beth, now. Nah, Beth Nelson. It looks like she might. Oh, well, well. She's wearing a suit, so, you know. Never mind. Whatever she identifies as, but. Because we're in college and I care more about not fucking up his life than my own. Whoa. That nigga must have been going to be a star or something. He must be like a star basketball player or something. Nah, she, she should have fried him. She should have, but like she probably scared to, like like you said, get outcast as a liar and a hoe. So a nigga was probably the star nigga of the campus. 
And a lot of this just comes with like a lot of these things just come with like they, they it's always either getting shamed or not believed. Like that that seems like the theme. I was a teenager, he was older than me by two with two kids. It's how I lost my virginity and became pregnant. I had a history of mental illness, so no one ever believed me. My parents didn't even believe me. They thought I was being dramatic. You know what I mean? It's like people, it's a lot of non-belief, it's a lot of and, and it's crazy. So once again, like I don't think we're about to read all these, you know what I mean? I don't even know how many like, like, Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we all was at I think it was at the end. I think it was at the end. It was at the end. Let me see. Um Yo, that was it. Was that it? Mm -hmm. My mom did report my 18 year old cousin when I was nine, I had to testify something up. We said that I was a teenager and he was old. Yeah, that was the last one anyway. But like, yeah, it seemed and that that seems like the, the ongoing theme in that situation. And it's it just go back to what's saying at the top, man. Like if you if we don't make it, if we don't all agree at some point, even if it gotta be in law with not that this these this is the way and not that is the way. You know what I mean? Shit gonna continue to be the same. But we gotta care about rape first, and it don't seem like our country does. You hear me? Now we gotta protect our guns. Right. In our religion. In our borders. Oh my god. Now is that it to fit of the day. Yeah, man. Damn. Stop being motherfucking creeps, man. <laughs> Fuck. Stop fucking raping people. Straight Jeepers, up. Creepers, creepers. We got to stop fighting. Your brother cannot be your enemy. We used to hang from trees, and now we're who they all want to be. But we're stop proceeds. We're still living, trying to make the ends meet. Our bloods are kings and queens. Not what they made us believe. Now, this was going to be an Etu Fair today, but it just feels more Daily Dose America. So, depending upon how hard we go in it, some of the other shit I had planned for Daily Dose America might not get said because this is very uh, recent. But, uh, man, what's up with Kanye now, dog? Oh, and that, <laughs> and that, and that I haven't slavery, seen it. Like, uh, we going to watch it. We got, I got it. I got it, bro. I got it, son. Uh, See, son, I don't know how bipolar makes you uh, stupid and racist. Like, like Kanye, bro. Like, I mean, what is he on, dog? Bro. I think he really drank the Kool Aid. He just like a week or two ago was saying the opposite. Oh, I just no. came out of some place. I think this nigga really drank it up, son. I think uh, I think his crazy other half is a, is a, is a Republican racist uh, Trump supporter, and, the other, and his bro. other bipolar half. Cause, so he skits, yeah, I think he skits. Because on side eight, we didn't mention it, but I was gonna bring up the fact that he was seen wearing a Kaepernick shirt and a MAGA hat. Same time. And yeah. the fact that he was wearing this MAGA hat, like when I first saw him rocking a MAGA hat, I'd be like, dog, how are you regressing? You just started this with some fuck shit. But I, I, I thought it was kind of like, all right, I see what you're trying to say. You're using Kaepernick is like, this is the way they make me a girl. But then he went left. I understand it, I, but it's still whack shit when you wear the MAGA hat. That That's like saying, crap. I'm not about to wear a Confederate side and an American side just to prove that we need to unite. I'm going to wear my American side and tell y'all bitches to come over here. Right. Yeah. You are giving him a lot of gracious interpretations. No, no. I think what Joe's saying is right. No, I said, but he, but, as always, he was not, I ain't saying I agree Yeah, no. No, I think in Kanye's mind, mind right, he thought Kanye's that's what mind. he was doing. I don't even give him that. Why are we doing him that? You don't, you don't, you don't let him pass yeah, between saying what he was saying. I think he's being retarded. You just think it's absolutely hysteria? I just think it's hysteria, son. <laughs> you tell me I've been giving him no lie to think it. No. Kanye <laughs> well, a side A and a side A. Apparently, son. Jeez. All right. What you keep, what you feel inside right now. Cause they say it coming. white boy did. <laughs> <laughs> what you going on? Can I stay? I don't know if you're going to say. What's wrong, Phil? How the hell did you get here? Well, actually, blacks weren't always Democrats. You know, it's like we're playing in there. He said blacks weren't always Democrats. And that's the that's like level one uh -oh. bullshit when you're okay. dealing with somebody on that side or that bullshit. Let me tell you, when he said that, that's when he was in a roller coaster ride and he put the railing down. Uh, yeah. It's like, it's you and that. It's the what about black bitch. on black on, crime man. of the deal. Get like, on this ride. come on. It's so muffled. You take your fathers out the home and promote welfare. Does anybody know about that? That's a Democratic plan. There's so many times I talk to like a white person about this and say, how did you like Trump? He's racist. We don't just make our decisions based off of racism. I'm going to break it down to you right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
<laughs> if someone inspires me and I connect with them, I don't have to believe in all their policies. But this man is a builder. Wow. And that inspires me. Now you can have a situation where we need to have a dialogue. No, Pastor, I appreciate it. We need to have a dialogue. Because if you want something to change, it's not going to change by saying, fuck that person. Try love. <laughs> try love, try love. <laughs> now y'all gonna fuck. You heard me scream at me. They bullied me. They bullied me backstage. They said, don't go out there with that hat on. They bullied me backstage. They bullied me. <laughs> and then they say, I'm in the sunken place. You want to see the sunken place? Okay. I'm going to listen to y'all now. I'm going to put my Superman cape on. Because this means you can't tell me what to do. Follow your heart and stop following your mind. That's how we're controlled. That's how we're programmed. If you want the world to move that's what I was going to do. Thank y'all for giving me this platform. I know some of y'all don't agree. Oh, we're never going to get to see again. Wait, hold on. And, oh, wait, this is the one I was supposed to click. That one has the beginning of this one. Like, that one had a beginning that I didn't have on this one, but this one has more. Let's yes. skip down. Change. It's not going to change by saying fuck I'm going to listen to y'all now. The world to move forward, try love. Try love, nigga. Thank y'all for giving me this platform. I know some of y'all don't agree, but y'all be going at that man neck a lot, and I don't think it's actually that helpful. I think the universe has balance. 90% of news are liberal. 90% of TV. He said 9% of news is liberal. 90%. LA, New York, writers, rappers, musicians. So it's easy to make it seem like it's so, so, so one-sided. And uh, I am kind of free. <laughs> Look at that black lady in the back. She looking like the, the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, and then he also said today something about abolishing the 13th Amendment, which he must not realize is the one that abolished slavery. No, he realizes it. He knows that. What the fuck, son? We should abolish slavery because we should take away, we should take that amendment because slavery don't exist no more. That's y'all. So it's really, it's like, it, why is he even here? It's just reminding us of the past. Now, of course, he's not meaning, um, you know, the slavery part. And he tried to come back and be like, I mean, let's amend it. For these, these whatever reasons. No, Shut up, son. But, yeah, just be quiet. Dog. Like he just be talking. He don't be informed. Kanye, at this it's just point, so dog, frustrating. you a nigga. I want to just tell. Shut up and dribble. Cause like you, right. like cause you, who right. you talk, you fuck up bad, dog. You're fucking up, son. Cause he talking about the part of he trying to be like on some prison reform and about slavery and it's, I, Kanye. You stupid boy. You ain't on nothing deep, nigga. You ain't deep. Nigga, you think you're deep as out here? Take. No, I thought he was deep back in the G though, son. It's like he regressed. Like, he regressed and, like you said, maybe got a little drugs, got a little manic. A lot of shit didn't happen with the homie. Because the fact that he's wearing the still wearing the Make America Great Again hat is like, son, you was just saying, you, you were saying you saw the problem with that and how that was inciting issues. And after saying that, you're going back to wearing it now realizing that that's the equivalent of the Confederate flag right now for niggas. Like, for real. You wearing that as like... That nigga so rich and so drugged up and so depressed and bipolar because while being rich, man, I don't see nothing. And they got niggas like on this video who agree with them. And that's what bothers the fuck out of me, because dog. Because they, they, they will, for a nigga like this. They will, the, white people on that side will always take a black nigga and if they're saying they shit 
to use as if this is the representation of black people. Yep. Hey, and this, hey, this guy speaks for all black people. So that's why you Even if keep... all black people say something different. Right. And they go tell their white friends, well, look at this black guy saying this. And it's Kanye West, man. So it's right. It's just Kanye West. That's how damaging you are. You give them such energy and such ammunition yeah, to use man. against yeah. us. Yeah. Did and you, you not hear that one feeling. white guy that was like, woo, I love you, Kanye? Yeah, like, he was serious. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm Speak the truth. Don't let nobody bully you, man. White people love issues that, that, that no one talks about yeah. anymore. Because, like you said, ninety percent of the media is liberal, and they're only giving you one side of the story. They're not telling you the grand majority. I mean, this is the silent majority that won the election for Trump in the first place. These people exist just because the liberal media puts up this facade and acts like no one actually supports Trump. It's a lie. The whole thing is a lie. It's just like when they said Hillary was going to win ninety-nine percent to one. You know, it's complete horseshit. They're just trying to brainwash you. Like he said, stop using your mind. Start See, using like he said. Do you know what I'm saying? Dude, that's what we mean when we call you a coon and we call you Uncle Tom. You hear me? It's not just because you have different beliefs. Because I get tired of these motherfuckers acting like yeah, free thought just on. means I'm going to think opposite of what everybody else thinks. No, we said this before. Free thought is actually taking in the facts on both sides. <sighs> And making an informed decision. We say something crazy like a bottle of the 13th Amendment without learning that that's the reason why blacks are free. You sound stupid. When you say, you know what I mean? When you, like, there's so many things that you don't realize, nigga, you don't sound even smart. You just sound like you pushing out the rhetoric that whoever got in your head. And this nigga said in his, in his rant, um, if he racist, that don't mean I can't be cool with him. Um, if you inspire me, it don't matter what it is. Right. Racist, rapist, killer, right? Murderers, that's what I'm saying. All that shit. If you inspire me, I believe in you. You might and as well say that, dog. No. You. you might as well say it. I mean, you might as well, like you just said, Joe. You might as well take out racist, put rapist. If you if you inspire me, I don't care if you rape. Take out rapist, put in hardcore terrorist. Because if you inspire me, nigga, I'm a ride. Like, let's so fucking dumb, dog. People are saying this man is damaging our community. The same nigga that was saying George Bush don't care about black people. You know what I mean? The same reason because of um. Nigga, my homie Akini put up, well, y'all be supporting Wayne, and Wayne is saying some um, troubling shit. Boy, why you ain't trying to go at Wayne? I'm like, nigga, nobody expected Wayne to be a hero. Wayne never appeared, never said he was woke. So when Wayne get drugged up and say crazy shit in interviews, we be like, that's Wayne being Wayne. But Kanye pre pre presented himself in a certain manner with a certain expectation Jesus for a nigga like you. You hear me? Use a nigga once again that said, nigga, you didn't, you just stood up. So of course people gonna be like, yay. Nigga, you the one who kept on wearing your heart on your sleeve that your mama had you so woke that you grew up as the grandson of a panther that this and that, what America need to do. Don't, don't come with this bullshit like you don't understand why people are coming at you for this situation, son. It's like, damn, I've been such an apologist for Kanye, but it's getting... Uh, it's making it harder and harder for you, bro. The biggest hypocrite. Son. And I always say, man, niggas don't really get canceled, dog. People ain't really canceling people, dog. They just talking that shit and still doing whatever. But son, like Kanye record sales wasn't as much as some of these bigger openings like like Drake, like Wayne, like some of these other bigger openings, and yeah, you're a superstar like them. So the fact that you're not doing those numbers, it did, he still sold, but he didn't sell like he would have. The thing is you lose black folks, does. dog. When you lose that's a big thing. But on top of that, you you losing other white folks, you know what I'm saying? You gaining some white folks, but you losing the majority of the white folks that fuck with you from jump that put you on, dog. Majority of them don't like the shit you're saying. They ain't fucking with Trump. They ain't fucking with that. And like... And I say before, even for them, I even though I understand what you're saying because you know the numbers. But even before then, though, when you lose black people and you a black artist... Once you lose us, the white people already think you're lame because we think everything's cool. So they're like, oh, black people ain't saying he cool no more? He ain't cool. Real. That's real. Yeah. Real. Say shit about that. Real. You hear me? Uh, also in a daily dose, man... Uh, <laughs> Uh, this bear uh, sexually assaulted a man. This, <laughs> Does he really believe that? Sexually assaults a man. Like he ripped his pants off. Or man, this man fuck said, according to. Got attacked by but no, now he said sexually assaulted. He said it, he held him and did it for three days. Yeah, right? he held no, him no, in the no, cave. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> What did this? What does this say? He said he held him in a cave, and he was also uh, also like fucked. While he was held. It came out of... Hold on. According to 47-year-old Boris Madison up here... Go, go. He was hiking alone in the woods near his residence when he was savagely attacked by a 900-pound brown bear. It came out of nowhere and started running towards me. I tried to flee, but it caught me and started beating me with its front paws. Okay? Oh, that sounds true. Then... When he dropped me in the cave, I thought I was going to be devoured, but instead it pinned me face down with one of his paws a pound. and started scrubbing his genitals all over me. 
Boris claims he was held captive in the cave for 16 days. Okay, I need to stop right here. All right, we need to freeze. <laughs> and that the animal sexually assaulted him three no, times a day. You were sexually assaulting the bear, mister. <laughs> okay. You were assaulting the bear. The bear was defending itself. You didn't leave when the fucking bear went to sleep, bitch. Well, he didn't sleep. The bear never went out to go get food. Really? He just stayed there. Right, right, like the bear just stayed there with you for 16 days. He was hurt. He couldn't move. He was beat on. He didn't go He couldn't leave. He was beat on. How did you get the 16 (laughs) days? <laughs> they can't find that man. Did they catch the bear? He was finally able to get away with the sounds of gunshots from nearby hunters scared the animal away, allowing the poor man to flee from his prison. Mr. Madison was covered with lacerations and suffered from severe dehydration when he made it back to town last week and was rapidly transported to the hospital. What if this true though, dog? <laughs> what if this bear really just like, man, like, Grizzly bear attacks. This nigga? I'm not. Right again, so. Gri- <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the bear gotta be me too. The bears, the bears gotta be watched. Grizzly bear attacks are rather rare across North America, even if an average of two people are killed every year in such incidents. Most attacks result from a bear being surprised at a very close range. This is only the second reported case of a bear sexual assaulting a human. So it's so happened before. Though. Yeah. The first incident was reported in Montana in 2009 when two teenagers were assaulted in a similar manner by a young male grizzly bear. So the animal was then hunted and killed by Mont- Montana wildlife agents. Man, that bear was out there raping, dog. How did the bear so, tell you to pull your shit down? And it him? don't, dog. It bear beat his ass. Bear beat his ass and it took it. It beat his ass. It rubbed. He said it, he Son. didn't necessarily say penetration. He said he rubbing that dick all over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't fuck him. He didn't see it on his finger. Not really. Fuck it's a sexual fuck assault. Him. It's not necessarily he got that bad booty. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> he fucking Still fucked his mind up. He got dick with. He got, he got I ain't gonna laugh with this man. This man is suffering. This man got a dream about it. He's scarred for the rest of his days, dog. This nigga never, ever forget that oh, shit. Oh, man. He go I'm gonna kill me a bear just because of that. <laughs> like, hey, man, fuck this shit, bitch. You gotta die. All right. This next one is for the Potty Mouth Pothead Podcasters, man. Peep it. Toronto company will pay cannabis connoisseurs fifty dollars an hour to sample different weed strains, and I don't know why I don't have this job. Yet. <laughs> I've been trying to find like the company. I can't even find the company because I was gonna try this shit. Well, like, make make, make you think it's fake. Yeah, I I can't find any info on it. It says what it says. Uh, mainstream attitudes towards cannabis are rapidly evolving. Legalization and medical uses for the drug means that more people than ever before see the drug in a positive light. Images seen. Nah, fuck that part. But this is the part. As right. the drug become. As the drug become more accepted in the industry around, uh, around it is set to well. Uh, I'm sorry, I said it again. As the drug becomes more accepted, the industry around it is set to well and truly explode. Statista puts the current value of the cannabis market at around seven billion, Damn. but by 2025 it'll be worth estimated 24.1 billion. Ooh, what, what about this company, dog? Oh, so the position has opened up at AHLOT. A uh, company based in Toronto that needs help assessing the quality of different strains uh, of cannabis produced across Canada. Because remember, Canada is legalized across the whole nation. Yeah. I'm about to go you can just my, go to Canada, uh, Canada and smoke, niggas. I'm, I'm, shit, I'm about to go uh, get my passport. I might have to fuck with y'all later. You know? Bruh. I might have to podcast from Canada. The, right, the connoisseurs are expected to work around 16 hours a day and they also receive a bonus of $200 each month. No, what? Smoking weed all day? My nigga. And you just y'all gonna provide the food? Weeds. That is. Dog, you know how people that want that job? Right. A lot of people. Come with that. A lot of people, like, dog. Much has got to come with that by the hour. But the thing is, mm-hmm. what's going to beat us out of the competition is that we got college degrees. All right, we ain't going to be just no crackhead off the street. And it's even trippy. I had this story about this DE, that they're saying the DEA wants more weed grown. So you already see the government already trying to slick side. Because why why y'all want more weed to be grown? They want more weed they to be try, grown so they, they can get their own they drug fucking... drug war. Mm-hmm. No, not even necessarily that. They trying, they're, read, they're readying they up to sell, to sell that shit. And they want to get the most and the best before they legalize it. They want to have bro, the chunk. We chunks. need top strains. We so want we the chunk. These weed cigarettes. Like legit. So they can put all that shit in storage. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit trippy, son. But um, I, like I said, it's just a beautiful job. It's an interesting thing. I was like, all right, this, this is happening in America. But let's get about you with this hero highlight, man. And we all feeling good inside. Cause people are doing good in a world of pure de fuckery. Black to shine a light. Shine a light. All the All the niggas. Doing good. Oh, in a pure world of pure de, pure de fuckery. Fuck.
Fuckery. Da, 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 da. What sort of fuck is real? What you doing back there? Rel just back here. Rel still here? Yeah, I was wondering for the longest. Rel, the protagonist, came through and like I didn't know what happened to her for a while. She back there rolling up and chilling and shit. Representing I can't believe she's still here. It's on the like that podcast. Me, that she's that quiet. No, oh, son, she's an actor, bro. She's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> son. But, uh. <laughs> so at first I had this story about China pledging $60 billion to Africa. Now, I thought no that was something. Attached. I thought that was the Let's thing. But then I read this other story about how, no, that's just them trying to stake their they dicks in Africa, yeah. just how everybody else in fuck Africa. So I had to one thing wipe that away. One thing Umar got right, dog, is that it's not the main language, but one, they're all studying like like Mandarin and shit in parts of Africa, dog. Yeah. But what about it? That means that the. Uh, the, 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 the oh, the you mean because the China connection, yeah. Because yeah, a huge Asian influence in there, yeah, dog. Yeah. yeah. So for and them I, to give this money, it's like, I mean, about to own Africa. I mean, they like need. So, so, oh. Oh my god! I mean, the money is net needed, dog. But I just fear, dog. I was like, dog. Africa, of course, is a continent, not a country. People acting like it's a country and shit. But I'd be scared, like my nigga, like looking at how out of all the continents, that continent in particular gets used the fuck up. You know what I mean? It's like it's like it's the, it's the most richest, jewelous continent ever, dog. But the With the government's fucked up, though. Mm -hmm. And yep. all the government's fucked yep. up. They trying to dog. Every government is taking a part of Africa and got some kind of station in Africa. America got buku stations in Africa. And then not only do they have all these other sta people from other places having stations, but like what you saying, Dmac, their own government, their own government works against them. Yep. Over yep. The people. They sure do. Like that's the problem. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't saying no lies about that. But we supposed to be talking about heroes here. So yeah. Kevin Hart, shouts out to Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart teamed up with the United Negro College Fund and Kip Public Schools, a nationwide network of free open enrollment college preparatory schools in, undeserved, in under, underserved communities to provide $600,000 in scholarships to 18 qualifying students attending historically black colleges and universities. All right, Kevin, dog. Put, put that money put, up. Put, your money put that money up, dog. nigga. That's Put what I'm talking difference. about, dog. Put that money up. Also, yeah, also what about Kevin Hart? His film went number one. I just I saw his number one. Uh, Get that money, cause that all go to him. He was him, the producer. And Tiffany. Yep. Like y'all both like like. I mean, they get buku they say money. They didn't put nobody on. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, no, no. They all get that money, but that was his production company. So that's a black boss raking in this fucking money. money. Yeah, it went straight through his his lap out loud production. So shouts out, um, Nicki Minaj kept a promise through that 25k yeah, after, Jeffrey. After, after after later. Yeah, to get hounded, but you know she don't get the hero. Jeffrey always get the hero because he, he took it. it straight to charity. Drop it. That's Drop it straight to charity. Bitch, I just got high from Tyler Perry. I'm on Tyler Perry. Come on, son. This my episode cost more than twenty five thousand. My first shoot. Now I'm not gonna lie. This chat, I get this to charity. I'd have took some of it and get the rest of charity, but I'm a broke nigga. But um, okay. yeah, okay. you hear me? I got the twenty. I probably took that of five. You hear me? Um, we never was even in Jeffrey shoe, uh, Jeffrey Owens shoes ever. So like we don't that, know. I'm 20, taking all twenty five. Oh, he said. Oh, he. He said. I'm taking. He said. My shoes are that, that I know of. I need, I need all 25. But they say, look, if Nikki, if there's something viral about me and Nikki gave me 25 Gs in my current life, say, baby, I'm charity. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm charity. I'm charity. charity. My mama need at least 10K. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Who you think gonna give it to a charity? Fuck. No, I'm the charity for her. Um, shout out to this eight-year-old boy that uh, gave his seat up. His eight-year-old boy noticed another boy holding back tears at a football game. He kindly offered him a seat until his dad arrived. Oh, that's nice. Because that's what I'm talking about. Because black kids save the day. Donovan Shaw, eight years old, was attending the game with teammates from his junior football team when he noticed a young boy walking around the stands. The staff at the event assured the young boy that his father would be there soon to watch the game with him, but Pause. he still had tears in his eyes. Hold on. Who the fuck is allowing this young boy to walk anywhere without a parent? Right. Um, if they're saying that staff, probably his, his dad probably works there. All right. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I'm I... Because I'm just... It's like, I'm without that kind of context... That's the only kind to wonder. That's the only kind of context I know of. If it's not that, I have no goddamn clue. Because I know if your parent works there, because if the other staff is watching you, you know what I mean? They might say, sit right here, and someone's, you know, watching from afar, but the kid wants his paw, of course. That's so, still kind of dangerous. I mean, have that to be like, yeah, I could just like, we'll have somebody on call by to watch this little That's the like only kid one I know. That's the only one. Maybe, maybe the story gives it, but I'm not talking about, I'm talking about Donovan. We can give mm -hmm. props to Donovan, dog. Hey, it's it's probably why the little, little, little boy, it's uh, probably why the little boy named me is the other little boy that right. in this story. Because he was almost kidnapped. <laughs> They don't, want, right. they don't want no child in danger been happening. Uh, the boy's seats were rather high, and according to Donovan's mother, Dana Clark, he was afraid of heights. That's when Donovan walked up to the boy and invited him to sit with him and his team until his father arrived. Donovan was quick to take the boy under his wing and help explain the game that he loves. 
Another Seahawks fan was able to capture a moment which was shared on Facebook. And it's a little black boy holding a little white boy down. What's up, little? What's up, us? What's up, bro? That's him, dog. Oh, some football? Oh, I might be wrong. Let me see. Make sure. Let me see which one is which. This picture says Marcus won tickets from the U.S. sold to the Hawks game tonight. There's a junior football team sitting in front of us, and they were so excited. Yep, Marcus is the other boy. So like, yeah. There's so the that. white boy name is Marcus. <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, it, it's not too out the realm. Let me make but sure. It's, it's a little yeah, bit out there. Yeah, ain't no oh, white Donovan. So that's hard to make new. It was Donovan. I was like Marcus. That's you. You gotta be a cool white boy if you call your name Marcus. Ain't too many non cool Marcus's white boys. Just like in the vampire movies, they always like Demetrius Marcus or some shit. You yeah. Know what I'm True. Yep. Yep. Uh, Donovan is the is the black boy. Yeah. So. Cause ain't no white Donovan. I mean, no. There, uh, there's a show right now. Uh, what was his last name? Ray Donovan. Okay. I feel like there's a white down to me, but I understand what y'all saying. Oh, I guess I understand what y'all saying. Um, he said his mama, his mama coach you appropriated. But uh, I mean, I'm not gonna read the rest of the story. Check it out, man. But I just want to shout out the little boy, man. You know that was some cool shit. Thank you for being a human being with kindness in your heart. To Thank say that you white boy for being be a friend. Uh, what was you just said? That little boy was look, son. That boy was nowhere out his dad. That boy. You said he was gonna get it. raped, Lord. That's on the list of things that could have happened. That was episode sixty three B. At the Fly with Bass podcast. Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Donovan. Thank you, Donovan. You a real hero. Donovan Shaw. You the man. Uh, what's you got daddy. Don't get rich. <laughs> His boy name is Marcus. It's little white Marcus. You name Marcus? <laughs> 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 but you know you're black, right? <laughs> you know you're just uh, nice skin. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, hit us up at flywithbats at gmail.com. As always, see, we want you to be part of the conversation. Comments, questions, any of that stuff. Fuck with us, man. Also, any type of recommendations or words you got for the Reviewing That podcast, hit us up at reviewingthat at gmail.com, man. We're going to be talking. We're going to be reviewing with Tales from the Hood, too. <laughs> next, <laughs> shut up. next episode. Golly gee. It's going to be pretty fun, hopefully. And, um, yeah, um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit us with them five stars, man. We need that. There. Hit us with some comments on iTunes on your podcast app. We loving you for that. Appreciate all you new listeners. This is that actor guy, Martin Bass Bradford. You can catch me at every single social media platform at Mr. Badge. You feel me? Spell that Mr. Out. And for 63, 63 side B, we outie. And it's me. It's your boy D-Mac, man. And you can catch me on Instagram at friendspread.kid. And find my clothing line at your dig 504 And um, I guess that's it. Passe wine, it's your boy Alpha Joe, fresh out of the gumbo, still deep in the roof. And if you're out in the streets and you're looking for me, I'm on Instagram at Alpha Joe 504 J O without the E. And on Facebook, I'm Joseph Alpha Man Pines. And for 63 Side B, do God want you to be a slut? Is God a slut like one of us? Is God, God a slut. slut like one of us? Just a slut on a bus. Shouts out to my moms. I hate that's the segue. But shouts out to my <laughs> shouts, shouts out to my moms, man. Like I, she, uh, I forgot to say this before, she man. Give her, give her she, she's highlight. supposed to get a hero highlight shout out, man. Like we was all leaving my uh, my my little sister's birthday party, and uh, me and Raheem we, we was riding, we was riding. I saw this cop coming, and I'm seeing out, and I'm like, this nigga about to follow us, dog. So as, as I predicted, the cop following us, we about to get pulled over. Now the blue this fucking car. Goddamn Facebook. Now the blue this fucking car come riding behind us to get in between us in the cop car like for like a mile or so so then you know what i mean we make a u-turn the car make a u-turn so then the cop gone but then we like who the fuck is this riding who's behind this, us who's following this us Hero, nigga, you know what we make a fucking turn we go in this cul-de-sac we like man who the fuck is this then my sister texts me this us nigga and i was like oh <laughs> mom said i had a feeling it was on some bullshit and she's in a rental car i yeah. said i don't know the car it's just some random ass car wow. and Mom's even the og even on some smart shit what, what kind of place they gonna run on the rental? So if she Real. get in between us, they just gotta take that lit, niggas. So Real. moms came through like, yeah, nigga, I got y'all, niggas. Shit, good looking moms out. Moms like, you can pull me over, bitch. I gotta run it. I'm good. I'm good. All my I, shit. As long as I take the heat off my ass. Yeah, we escaped. That. Escaped. That's you hear me? Get get out Mama, here. you're the queen of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah, big ups to my nigga Kruger and the bitch. Big ups to Rel back there being a uh, bad woman. Back here, bad she even got the bad woman colors. No, there's a bad woman and there's a bad girl. I'm specifically talking about bad woman. Excuse me, I'm not a big. F I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not saying you had the new. I'm just saying. I mean, because black women were like red and black. Uh, like, oh, she got that red and black on you. Yeah, but uh, more like fucking cat woman. 
All that quietness back there. Hey, the creep. hey, I'm not going to fight you on it. Either way it go. We're Zamp, y'all. We out here. See y'all next round. In the next couple of couple of Peace. Peace. Tizzle. Yeah. Chillin' on the couch, hand on my pouch Just waking up, watching homeboy house Thinking about the day, I had to press rewind Play, when I say being a doctor was my goal Ambition, think I wanted to be Until I learned the work that it took And I would be an infinite debt Then I imagine myself, 80 years old Dead with debt over my head Too much doubt, gotta go another route Once I got out of music, I ain't never getting out I envision my life and how I'ma live it out Kids and a wife, I hope I figure it out So until then, rule 10, gotta wrap it up Cause life moves on even if we get stuck So I turn back on the tube, now I'm on a cool Watch it set it off, wishing I would make moves The tipo was a fool, but the blues, it will hit ya So you stay inside so them bullets might miss ya You can get your issue any single day Make beats at my home so I never fade away Learning those and keys, I gotta sit alone I used to pray to God, but we don't get alone Preachers in Berlin he was trying to turn me around, but I should still be proud Even if I'm not down with G-O-D My real F-A-T-H-E-R Not in my vision of tomorrow He's still living, never forgiven I ought to try and get along But twice he ran alone, so now I stand alone But I ain't lonely We cheese and turkey, used to be baloney Smoke kid growing up, but that that in an instant When in every day, see my past in the distance I don't regret a thing, cause I love my existence Kind of militant, but that's it's just sentiments from living this life Still got an open mind People surprised I never been shot I did time Step out on the porch Nothing never changed Stuttering Jerome Old girl, what's her name? There go old Missy Look at Miss Barbara And the lady who make the frozen cups daughter Yeah, I got smarter Learn from the dumb Been in my own lane Just never had my own drum Used to rap about clapping Ain't never had a gun I was just imitating But with a little patience I'm three years ahead of my time And stimulate and for me to imagine What would have happened If I was saving Like every week Cause living off pennies Ain't sweet It's bitter You could be my nigga But they don't mean that you fam Trust is like putting A loaded 48 in the hand Of a woman or a man Who got a tour of your plans Now you're looking at your casket The invisible man Cars and the glam And entertainers the man Isn't what I need I mean like Joe Queen Phoenix I'd rather never have an image But shout out to the ladies And jits who ever did it I ain't a no own rapper, but I represent it Up on this track, New Orleans to the ending Looking at a picture, the past feels near But I'm living in the now when she's so last year Gotta go to work, do I wanna go to sleep? Been up all night with this beat on repeat But life don't wait and money don't make itself I need stability, but what I want is wealth